Да? Е, бера. It looks like it is. We're live. Live at one o'clock in the morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time. You're now live on YouTube. Thanks for the update, emails. I doubt anyone's going to jump in very quickly, being the time that it is. But while I'm trying to do that, I'm going to chuck a Insta story up. Let's go. Who's up at this time? Um, story, story, story. Concurrent viewers. Is there someone in here? Because it says concurrent one. We'll see. We're doing it live. I'm talking to myself. Story. Mm. Doing it live. No viewers. Live on YouTube at one o'clock, lol. I guess I can edit this bit out. And then I'll just start up TikTok. TikTok, enhance, effects. We're doing it live. Yeah, buddy. And go live. Enhance. What's going on, coffee cup? Two people in here. I've only been going for two minutes talking to myself. Enhance. <laughs> that reminds me of that meme where that, oh, what is it? They're on a computer going, enhance. Enhance. Hey, Lee, how are you, brother? I just want to see as well if I can actually view, um, like if I go to TikTok, on a computer because I'm trying to get the chat up on my, like the chat for TikTok up on my computer as well. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. John, what's going on? Tim, how are you? Yeet in the house. Oh, Yeet is in the house. Yeah, buddy. Doing a bit of a late night stream. Six of you, seven. Let's get it going. I appreciate it. My neighbors are going to love me shouting around. Why? Can I just view me being live, but that's what I want to see. Like, how do I, because what I'm trying to do, sorry, guys, I'm ignoring you in the TikTok chat. What's going on? How aren't you? I'm trying to get the chat up on my computer. So if you can bear with me, because the plan is, oh, not open a new browser. The plan is that I can be able to look at my computer and see the chats much better than what I currently can. But I don't know if you can see TikTok live on a computer. You know if you can? Hayden, what's going on? Uh, Max Hawker. Looking at myself on TikTok because that's what you do. View to continue. Yeah, let's do it. What's digging, Khalid? How are ya? I'm going to get into this repair in a set. Oh, here we go. I've got the live on my computer. Sorry, I'll stop shaking my knee because then it'll stop shaking the camera. Now, how do I view? I can see the comments. Now, can I get rid of orientation theater mode? Now, I just need to bugger off that. I can still see the comments. Can I just make the comments bigger? That's what I want to see. No, I just want to see the live chat. I don't want to... Bloody hell. Hang on. Let's see how big I can get this. There's got to be an app to, like, pull down the comments on a computer, but at least I can see them. Come on, let's not be mad. At least I can see them. Um, is that better? That's heaps better. All right, I got you. I got you guys. Oh, what did I do there? Hang on, I'm going to yeet this one away. Sorry, guys, I'll pay attention in a sec. I'm just trying to get this set up so I can do this perfect. All right, I've got my camera going. I've got comments on my computer here. I've got comments on YouTube over here. James, what's digging? How are you guys? I don't have to look at this now. This is just on me. And I can say knock, knock. Love your videos. This is sick. What I'm trying to do is get the chat up on for my TikTok down here. I just wish the YouTube chat wasn't also... Hang on, maybe I can take this window, pull it over here. 
Now I've got them side by side, mate. That's what we're after. And we got a coffee as well. Um, the chat seems to be a bit delayed on the computer end, though. I got Yeet from Justin. Why, why do they make this so phone orientated? I don't want to sit there and stare at my screen. If it's an iPhone, you can mirror the screen to the Mac. It is a iPhone, but I'm not using a Mac. Um, I, oh no, now I've done it. I've tapped something on my, oh my God. What did I do? How do I get rid of it? Enhance, enhance. Hang on, I've got to, I've got to fix this on my stupid, oh God, I don't know how to stop it. How do I get rid of it? Interaction, enhance, effects, no effects. There we go. Oh my God, what a mess. Just don't tap the screen. Do not tap the screen. There we go. All right, soz about that. That is terrible. What's going on? I've got the chat over here. Hopefully it says, see, I've got hi from UK. Oh, it's a little bit delayed on the um, TikTok on the desktop, but it still means that I'll be able to see them a lot better than what I can otherwise over here. And I can talk to you guys over here because I've got the YouTube going on my stream, as it says, over here on my TikTok. Um, and yeah, if it is an iPhone, you can mirror it to the Mac. It is a iPhone, but I use PC, man. I've just got two screens rock and rolling. Am I lagging on the YouTube? Because it looks like it's going round and round and round. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I just cut out for a second YouTube? Oh, God. I think it's just ruined it. I don't know if my internet has the capabilities to stream. Seems okay to me. Oh, I was just saying to go round and round. We'll forget about it. Where's the McFlurry? I don't have a McFlurry at the moment. You're literally an Aussie icon now. I'll give it a bit of a go. My Redmi Note 10 is always hanging half memory. How do I use it to get fixed? What do you mean half memory, mate? As long as it's okay. I was just seeing like the preview on OBS go round and round. Um, so yeah. Um, like the description says, I've got a iPad Air 4 here. We're going to do the charger dock, but I'll hang out with you guys and say, what's going on for a bit? Do you know what I mean? What time is it? Holy crap. It's one. T it's 10 past 1 or 109 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bloody hell. I just keep getting the computer chat's hard to keep up with because it just says sent likes to the host sent likes where it doesn't do that on um the phone so that's a little bit annoying thank you for the gifted the rose thank you for the gifted um and it's real grayed out it's actually shit i wish it was better than that but anyway shit happens you can't help it out it is what it is um guys on tiktok i am streaming on youtube if you want to get the full experience i've got the overhead cam i've got the profile cam and i've got the microscope cam just here for the only Yeet link. Mate, Sarah, it is coming up. Um, look, we'll wait till I'm about 50 and then we'll get it going, hey? So we've only got another 20 years to go and we'll make it happen. Love your content. Thanking you so much, Taylor. I really appreciate it. Um, it's like 4.9 here, UK. You're mad. Yeah, well, I'm going to be doing repairs anyway. And I was procrastinating on making some content, so I thought I'd go live and hang out with you guys if that's all right. If you don't mind, um, I'm in the Wit Sundays early beach Matt Weber. Um, how do you live stream on TikTok using OBS? I do have stream keys um, for TikTok. The issue is that I don't know how to um, stream, or I do, sorry, I have looked into it, but I don't think my internet can take it. I've got really piece of shit internet. I'm in North Queensland and I'm in Australia and we have shit net. And that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, thank you for the gifted. Guys, you don't have to throw gifts. You got better places to spend your money other than TikTok. But thank you for the gifted. You make it look so easy and then I try it and it's all a big disaster. At least you're trying though, Larson. That's all you can do, mate. I'm going to go to sleep, night lad. It's 1 a.m. here. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. Oh, it's too late. That's what you're saying. I am in New South Wales. How is the burger meal from McDonald's in Oz? Yeah, it depends what you get. I get a large Big Mac meal with a coffee frappe, uh, two cheeseburgers, and a mixed spicy at the moment. That is my meal. Absolutely love it. For us old, though, whole 
What? For us, old school though, hole soldering guys. Through hole. For us, old school, through hole soldering guys. Any tips where to start with surface mount? Just get going. Get a couple of old boards. Sorry, I'm being mad dyslexic there. Not diagnosed, but I uh, um, can be real stupid when I'm reading. Um, you just get a broken board and just start get, getting going ham at it and having a bit of a shot. That's the only way you can do. Love Ellie Beach. I used to live there. Party at Mama Africa. Mama Africa's used to go off like eight years ago, seven years ago. And then Evo's turned into Boom and Boom's lit. So now everyone goes Boom. I'm in New South Wales, Galaxy Wolf says. It's a bit late. But I thought I'd get, like I said, thought we'd get into a stream. We're doing it live. Um, mate, you were chill. Love your videos. Didn't know you were chill like that. Love it. Really appreciate it. How much did your voltage amp amperage tools cost? Um, do you mean the thing that I use to check? Like it's not a healthy draw thing, the amp meter? Because they're 50 bucks, 60 bucks on my online store. Store.hawkerit.com. Just Google Hawkerit. Max Hawker, it'll all come up in the Google search. Big up Melbourne, Cam says. Love it, man. Um, I just might get into this repair rather than just chatting away because I'll get distracted just talking to you guys. Yeah, amateurs, wasn't sure if you use a special one for electronics. Um, oh, yeah, amateurs, I read that as. Ant meters. Yeah, on my store, store.hawker.com. How much does it cost? Um, how much does it cost? to have this much swag. Well, I got the shirt from Universal. It's one of these um, basketball team shirts, the Suns. I've no idea about basketball, but whatever, we'll do it. Um, I don't think I got swag. And I think if you say swag, that kind of takes away your swag, doesn't it? It is what it is. I don't know what to say about it. Um, Brooklyn, I am fine on this lovely early morning. Think you'd be up for a screen replacement on a Google 6 Pro. I just recently did a 6 Pro Plus. They're relatively easy. The back glass is a bit of a bitch to take off, but I can do it. It's a little bit of a struggle to get parts, to be honest, but I can give it a shot. Hey, Max, what's digging? Warzone, Warzone says. Mate, everything's digging. I have a vivid picture. Just yeeted chips sitting in the corner. I um, actually moved my YouTube, can see it, TikTok can't. I moved my um, TV in that the other day because I had to get behind it and I found the AirPod that I yeeted the other day. How did you learn small so soldering? Small soldering, has solder small components on a circuit board is what you're saying. I just gave it a shot, started, got cracking, gave a bit of a time and effort, a lot of swearing, a lot of bashing my head against the wall. You're adorable, I have a crush on you. Charlie, I have a crush on you. I think you've got it mistaken, mate. It's flipped like the Triller app. I mean, it's all in a day's work. Can I send you Can I send you your phone from the UK to get all the pics and videos off it for repair? Yeah, I can give it a shot. 11 Pro Plus, do you lose face ID when you replace the ear speaker? No, nah, the ear speaker is just soldered on. You just got to desolder it and away you go. Um, how much will it cost you to replace a front and back on an 8 Plus? Front and back, approximately like maybe 250, 280 off the top of my head. I don't really like talking about prices because you can imagine how many different prices there are in my head. So it can be hard to give accurate quotes off the top of my head, but I can give it a bit of a shot. How much is an 11, 11, iPhone 11 13 back glass replacement? They're like 280. They're a pain in the ass, to be honest with you, but I can do it. When you put a bit of flux and heat it up, does it affect nearby chips? Uh, there's underfill uh, underneath chips or around chips, and that's to, I don't know what that's for. It's like waterproof, waterproofing or some shit. I really don't know. But when that heats up, that becomes, that expands and then the solder becomes liquidous and then it can force the solder out because of the expanding underfill and then that can affect chips, but generally not. Heat does destroy chips, so if it's too hot, ever replace the camera on a 6 Pro? Not yet, mate. How much? Oh, I already read that one, sorry. Will you mod my 2020 MacBook Air? Depends what kind of mod you want, but typically not. I don't do modding. I wish I knew how. Where do I get the details to send my phone? Link in bio, hawkrit.com. Go over there, the mail-in page, and you'll be sorted. Thank you for the gifted. Have you guys ever heard Ninja thank people for gift, gifts on his stream? Because he's been doing it for so long. He's like mad quick. And rather than just saying like, oh, thanks for the gifts, like you see some streams, he just goes, thank you for the gifted. It's um, pretty hilarious. Do you guys watch a H3 podcast? I'm kind of obsessed. 
I don't miss it. And they've been making a fun, a lot of fun of it. Um, and they sound it and it's funny as yo question, please. How did you learn how to, how to micro electronic side? If what you do, hang on, yo question, please. How did you learn the micro electronic side? If what you do, so how did I learn how to do this stuff? I just got going. Ah, just crushed my thumb underneath the desk between my chair. Um, you just got going into it, man. I've been doing this for a couple of years and I spend a lot of time doing it. Thank you for the gifted. Um, and I don't know, you get good at things that you spend time on. I used to be a laser babe at a shopping center. So like on the checkout. And I got good at that after doing that for so long. I used to be in the deli. I used to be um, stacking shelves. I did car detailing. I did landscaping. You just get good at shit as you do it, you know. Can I trust you not to snoop around my phone and find my corn collection? Mate, you can definitely trust me. I'm a trustworthy kind of guy. Hey, brother, are you qualified in tech? No, I'm a D&E student. I failed academically. I am objective, subjectively stupid when it comes to grades and getting qualifications, so definitely not. I think, mate, I think I have ADHD. How did you get it checked? I realized my life was falling apart on occasion and I had the question. So I went and talked to my GP and I said, mate, I'm 30, shit sideways, what do I do about it? And he goes, he didn't actually tell me, I told him. I was like, I need a referral, mate, because that's the way it goes down. He gave me a referral. The referral was meant to be in nine months' time. I told the professionals, I went, I'm not going to wait nine months for this because my life is in shambles at the best of times. It's not that bad. It just wasn't like maintainable at best of times. I was letting people down, whether it was customers, friends, um, not so much family because family, you can just yeet them away and they still love you. But I was just doing heaps of stupid shit. I was like, the main thing there that I said in that video was my actions don't always match my ambitions and I'm either full of shit or I'm not. There's no in between. And when I know that I want to complete something and I didn't complete it, it, I don't know, to me it was straightforward. It wasn't straightforward to stop, uh, trying to work out whether I had ADHD or not. And now that I do, I question whether I got it or not. I, around you go. You overthink shit. I think that's just me. I don't think that's the ADHD. Go see a psychiatrist and, and get Dexies. Yeah, I'm on the Dexies. I'm on the list Dexamphetamine. Wicked time for about the first 20 days, like literally wired to the point where I was like, I don't know if I can maintain this. And then they've tapered off. And now they're at a point where I don't know if 30 milligrams is the right dose, but I also don't know if I'm calling that too soon, if I should just feel like it's not there anymore. I honestly don't know. And I don't know anyone to talk to about it. It's weird. Geoclops. Gronklops. On your Gronklops. Please don't spam the chat, man. Legend, the phone stopped charging in 2016 and I gave up and I feel like you might be the guy. Yeah, flick it on open, man. What's the best phone in your opinion? The phone that you like to use. Whatever works for you. Do you know what I mean? Boy, do I have a phone for you then. I had my Google 6 Pro for three weeks and I ran over it with a garbage creeper while working on the car. I'm not sure what a garbage creeper is, but thank you for the gifted Gronklops. Appreciate your ADHD story. Working through this with my son in high school. Um, I sucked at school. I could never apply myself and the rest of it. So on you guys, whether it was you recognizing it, a teacher, anything like that, that's wicked. I um, hope that he gets the help he needs, whether it's through medication, therapy, behavior, whatever it is, I hope that it works out. And Oppo will stand going through the st stairs. What? Going down the stairs. Yeah, maybe. What's going on, the unwanted 25? How are you? Oh, thank you for the likes. I don't know what I'm... No, I do appreciate it. Should I just get into this repair? Guys, if you're over here on TikTok and you want to see this repair, you can jump over to YouTube, link in the bio, as you see here. Um, I've been tinkering with old cell phones and I imagine working like you do. And imagine I was working like you do. That's fine. That's how it starts. You just get in there. Garage creeper. Did I read that wrong the first time? Was I just being... I don't know. Maybe I was just being stupid now. I can't find the original comment. Whoops. The thing that you lay down and roll around. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Question. T-shop work. Worker. What? T-shop worker. Helped 
a customer port in and swap the SIMs and it stopped reading the SIM, SOS only. Had to revert to eSIM, couldn't work out why. Random get a warning. OBS is telling me it's disconnected and reconnected. I don't know what's going on there. And my OBS is recording. I shouldn't be recording all this Crapola because I'm going to cut it out anyway. Um, yeah, no, sim reading sims are the worst. Yeah, no, sorry, Jack. Didn't mean to do that to you. Max, what are you up to, bro? I'm about to get into this iPad Air 4. I shouldn't really just keep talking about it, eh? Should just get into it. TikTok, one last warning before I stop reading your comments. Not that I want to be rude, but I am going to have my head in the microscope and I am going to do this Air 4 repair. Because otherwise, I'm just going to drag this out. You know what I mean? We've already been going for 20 minutes. Any chance you would know what to do with the AirPods that have one earphone that has less volume? Sounds like it's chalked up, bogged up full of your wax, mate. What degree did you study? I didn't. I am unqualified. I authorized myself to do what I do. I love saying that because I think it's funny that people go, are you Apple authorized? I go, nah, I'm Hawker authorized. I'm Max authorized, mate. How's life been treating you? Life's lit. I have a laptop that needs a repair. Yeah, get it over to us. Get yourself on Twitch. Why Twitch? I don't understand. What's the, what's the problem with um, YouTube? What's the fastest way to get a quote? Click me a DM on, my, on the business page because then one of my employees will deal with it rather than me. You won't be waiting for me to be all clogged up full of DMs, but I do try and be efficient. You can jump in the link in bio and head over to hawkerit.com and go to the mail-in page and fill out a submission form or the contact sheet and we'll get in touch that way. That's a good way. Did you, did you, go, to, did you go to someone in early in Cannabale to get diagnosed? No, no one's around here. I went, had to get a referral to telehealth and do it over the phone and then I did it over Zoom once, we, once I spoke to her. It was like a, um, yeah, it was just like a Zoom chat. All day's work, mate. It's my new saying. I love it. I'm from York too. You're from York? Where's York? Yorkshire. Is that where? I can't do the accent. How do I get my laptop? How do I get you my laptop? Carry a pigeon. Put it on a hot air balloon and hope for the best. Nah, link in bio, hawkrit.com. Max Kudos. I was on Ritalin as a kid, became an electronics tech and got off it as soon as an adult. Well, I haven't been medicated my whole life and now I'm on it. Yeet. I don't know what to do about it. Hopefully one day I'll be able to get off it. I'm not going to lie though, I kind of enjoy it. I don't know whether that's a bad thing or a good thing. I still, everyone goes, oh, I just hope it doesn't change your personality. I feel the exact same. The only thing that's stopped is, um, or that's changing my personality is I'm not overthinking stuff, certain things that I would normally think about, like sending off a text in a certain way. I might sit on for a little bit longer. Now I'm just like, just do it. Who cares? Yeet. Do you have the same number? Um, it depends what you mean by same number. But yeah, I have an iPhone 3GS water damage. Can you revive my photos and videos? I can give it a crack. I can definitely give it a shot. UK, Ireland. I'm from Queensland, if you didn't know. Um, I think I'm caught up with comments. I think I'm going to get it in this repair. TikTok. Last warning, I'm going over to the camera here. I'm going to switch over. Hang on, I don't have to switch over. We've got this one here because I can't see, the, see my YouTube one. But anyway, this is this Air 4. Um, this Air 4 has a cooked. You can't come on focus. Do it. Do it. I don't know if it's going to do it. Hang on, maybe if I do this one. There you go. This Air 4 has a cooked charger port. Charger ports are all the same on all iPads. Um, they're soldered in ever since the, I think it's the I iPad 3 that they've been soldered in for. I'm not recording. Uh-oh, because I want to turn this into another YouTube. Hang on. Rewind that. I'm going to take that a step back, and then I'm going to do the intro again because I am, even though I'm streaming this. Anyway, I don't have to explain. This is an Air 4, iPad Air 4 that's got a cooked charger dock. Um, it's soldered in like all other iPads. We're going to have to desolder it and then get a new one on, and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. There you go. How bad was that? Repeating myself on live. Bro doesn't even sleep. Nah. <laughs> Mate, if I could never sleep, I'd be so happy because um, sleeping's inefficient for me. I don't, I don't know. I had a mad, going off on a tangent, I had a mad hectic dream the other night. I literally had a dream that had continuity the whole way through and I was escaping a prison 
And in the end, we escaped. And then the car drove off like the highway into like, I don't know, we just fell for ages and fell in the ocean or some shit off a bridge in a city. Don't know where the city was. Don't know why I was escaping prison. Watching people get shot up around me and shit. It was a real hectic dream. Don't know what was going on. What's the fastest way to get a quote? I already read that one before, sorry. He doesn't sleep unless, unless it's day. I generally go to sleep at like 3 to 5, 2 to 5 in the morning. I don't know. Anyway, I think Max wanted to murder. Murder? No, not me. I was just trying to get out of jail. It's a real weird dream. But anyway, let's get over it. Um, this one being soldered on, we have to get underneath the scope. Guys, fair warning. So let's chuck you guys underneath this. Hang on, that's the overhead cam. Let's chuck you guys underneath the scope. And that's what we're talking about. Guys, in the YouTube chat, should I keep my profile camera there or should we eat it off? Because I don't know whether it matters to see me. I feel like it doesn't. But then I look at other people that do it and I'm like, I kind of like it. I don't know. I do, I don't. Your videos are ASMR for me. Look, if you want to listen to me and not watch me on YouTube, I'm okay with that. If you, whatever works for you, nah, keep it, keep it. Keep it, it works great there. Lit! I'm glad. Awesome. And I just realized I don't have my flux. And when I don't have my flux, we don't have a um, way. We don't have a way to remove. Oh, and then I want to plug this one back in. The last thing I want to happen is my Rode mic dying during one of these. Because it did. I was filming a YouTube video the other day and it just kept going sideways and it wouldn't happen. So now... Um, now just keep it plugged in. It's probably going to kill the battery. I oh, know. It is 1am. Deal with it. Guys, come on. We're 30 on YouTube. Come on, we can do this. Anyway, let's just get into this one, guys. So with these, as I was saying, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, we've got to add solder onto it. By adding solder, what that lets us do is remove the dock much easier than just trying to do it factory because the factory solder on the board is a pain in the ass to work with. So if we add in our own mixture, it's going to come off a lot easier when we smash it with a bit of heat. So I just need to make sure you guys are nice and focused there. Yeah, that's good. What a picture. And then we're just going to chuck down a bit of flux. And then we've just got to add a little bit of solder. Oh man, it's hard to see the YouTube chat. It's in the way of my, um, my microscope is in the way of it. And let's see if I can do something about this. Can I, I can't, I literally can't. I'll have to go back in between stuff. I'll go back and make sure that I've caught up. So sods for not interacting with you guys while I do this. And same with TikTok. I can kind of see it. It's just my microscope's right in the way. But anyway, let's not um, procrastinate anymore. Let's not go off on too many tangents. Classic Max fashion. It wouldn't be me if I didn't go off on tangents. That's all I do. This camera sucks, eh? I bought it like on some dodgy Chinese website for like 120 bucks. I really need to get another one. I find this real, um, what's the word? Satisfying? It's not even oddly satisfying, it's just satisfying. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oof. Oh, babe. Oh, why is that going all funny? Can you not? Thank you. And now that we've got that solder on the dock, just like that, the next bit is to smash it with a bit of heat. We don't need too much because it's low melt solder that I've put on there. Generally melts, I think it's like 180 degrees. So we're just going to smash it with like, I don't know, 300. Here from TikTok, I appreciate it. Jake Scott, I just seen your notification come down on my um, phone, mate. I appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted. There's no gifted coming in. I just said that. Whoops. And then we're just going to smash the dock with a bit of heat. And once we start watching this guy get a little bit melty, I dropped my tweezers the other day. See how they're all bent, ripped to the goat. But we're just waiting for this to get a little bit melty. Come on. 
Like that. Come on. Come on, buddy. It should look more lit melty than that. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll make it hotter. My hot air station is getting fried because I've been using it to remove back glass on um, phones that are a bit of a pain in the ass with back glass. And that means I've been cranking it and then sitting there smashing it for ages. And I think the element inside my hot air is gone sideways. But that's what we're looking for. See that? Beautiful. And then once it's all nice and um, liquefied, we're going to come in with our tweezers just here. And give it a bit of a, just give it a bit of encouragement. Come on. It's held in with a bit of glue as well. And I don't want to pull too hard because then you'll rip off pads. And if I rip off pads, it's an L. It should look something like that. And you guys, you'll see when it comes along. I also need a polarizer for my um, camera so it doesn't, the shine doesn't auto adjust it too much. Because I see that brightness all messes up the camera angle or the camera, I don't know what you call it, the brightness messes up the image. Can you just come up, please? Let's chuck down some more flux because that should be coming up a bit easier than that. I don't know if I've done an Air 4 dock before, but I've done plenty of docks, and they're all the same. Maybe this one has different solder. Maybe I need to come in a bit hotter. Thank you for the gifted, Abraham. Thank you for the gifted. Come on. There's probably like some stupid grounding or some shit that's making it a little bit harder for me. Maybe I didn't mix in the solder. No, I did. It's all good. I'm just being pedantic. Come on. Maybe come in like this. Oh, that's the business. We're almost off. There we go. Is this that last bit, mate? So the dock's off, and then I want to take it out of my clamping majigger because I don't like doing this next bit on a clamping majigger. We can yeet that one away. We don't need that one anymore. But with the dock off, like I said, we can remove it from the clamp, and then we can start to clean up all this factory shit, so when we put down the new dock, it goes down real nice. Man, this camera sucks. I really need to do something about it. Do I just drop a fortune on new equipment? It's 10.30 a.m. here. It's um, 1.35 here. Um, I mean, freak out when the chair moves an inch and lean back. Yeah, I know, people say that all the time, but it's, um, I don't know. I don't think it's... um. I'm not going to go anywhere. This chair stable as. And no, I've never fallen off and I never plan to. From here, what we want to do, like I said, we're going to come in with this low melt again and we're just going to clean up these pads again. Very satisfying. Oh, baby. How good's that? And then from here, I need some of my wick. Where did I put my wick at? Where's my wick? Here it is. Oh, I'm going to change tips real quick. Just the tip. I need a thicker tip so it heats up better. Thank you for the gifted, Abraham. Coming in with the gifted. Appreciate the follow. 
I'm trying to be like Ninja. Do I need to explain that again? I think it's funny as shit. Just go look at Ninja saying, thank you for the gifted. And now we're going to come in and wick up. Oh, this is not happening right. That should be... Have I not got the right temperature? What's going on here? Hang on. Give me a sec. It's not happening right. Something's going on. Maybe... Maybe do I have... No. Nah. It'll be alright. Again, I'm just being pedantic. Let's start over here and we'll drag it. Oh, baby. Look at those pads. Primo. Get a little clean room cloth. Bro, it's Saturday night, 1.36. Correction, it's Sunday morning, 1.36 in the morning. But you're close. 10 points for effort. I'm just cleaning that up with um, Shalite and a clean room cloth. After this, I've got a MacBook to do. If you guys want to hang around, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. Might as well do it on top of this. I've got heaps of shit to do. You can see the shelf. Oh, you can't really see the shelf behind me, but there's a shelf behind me with a lot of shit to do. Now that we've got that cleaned up and looking schmick, the next part is to add solder to it again. And then we're going to chuck the dock down. And then the repair's done. You know what I mean? Hey, where it is? Uh, claim it on tax. Claim what on tax? Um, how do I retrieve data out of an iPhone 5S that won't start? You've got to get it to start. You answered your own question. There is no way of getting data out of these modern devices without them starting. Some of the older ones, like the Samsung, I think it's before the Samsung S7, you could do a thing called chip off, where you physically remove the chip that holds your data, as it says, chip off. And then you can get data that way. But, um... I don't have the tools for that. I have been looking into it, but last quote I got was like 32K, and I was like, what's going on here? How am I meant to make money out of 32K for old devices when I barely ever see them? Do you know what I mean? And then I get you guys going, mate, do you only fix iPhone? It's like, mate, I'm trying to fix other things. These tools, but you know what I mean? How good. Oh, this one here. Come on, go down. What do we reckon? Do we reckon that looks pretty good? I reckon that looks pretty good. I give it an, I give it a hard, a dark ten. I don't have, I haven't been consuming much. Um, what's his name? Anthony Fantana. I haven't ever consumed his content, but then I've come across all this Drake shit. And Drake, I don't know if you guys know, but he DM'd him saying, I give your existence a light one. And apparently Anthony Fantano uses like a rating system, like one to 10. And he says like, this album sucks, like a light one. I find that shit so funny. That's why I just said I give this dock a dark 10. Do you know what I mean? What's digging? We're doing a repair. Now we just got to, I mean, it might not look perfect. Like in some areas here, I'll just get you guys real close. But it actually is. Like, it's not perfect, perfect. A nine and a half. But it doesn't matter. Pedantic is a word that I keep repeating lately. We just don't need to be that full on with it. From here, we're just going to chuck down a tiny bit of flux. We don't want to flood it. I'll come in with my finger and spread it around. My funger. I'm just going to clean up the sides. Just touch the sides here. And here. And then I'm going to put the dock over. Hang on, which way does it go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hang on. It goes this way. Get out of here. That took me a second to work out. One goes here. Hang on, is this the right dock? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at this square. What am I doing? Can you get your shit in a pile, dude? So... Excuse my fungus, because I'm coming over here. I'm going to pin down one side first, and then I'll come and attack this other side on the other end. 
and all I'm doing is lining up this tiny little square. If I come right down here, I don't know if you guys can see that in the cam, I'll look in a sec. Yeah, that square through that, trans through that transparent square, that's what we're lining up. That's what tells us we're good to go. A little bit of flux on top. Ooh. I'm gonna remove the excess solder out of my iron. Do you work on Nintendos? Yeah, man. I've done a couple of Nintendo Switch repairs. Come on. And then we're just trying to get that solder through that hole there and through this hole here. Come on. Why is this being so difficult? Can you not? There we go. Now that we got that side pinned down, we'll move over to the other side. Make sure that it's aligned correctly, which it is. Ooh. Guys, you could see this, you're missing out. You've got to be on YouTube to be able to see it. That shouldn't be like that over here. Hang on, I'm just going to fix up this because I'm putting too much torque on the dock there. There we go. Not perfect, come on. We're doing it live though. And when I do it live, I don't have the opportunity to edit it, to do some cinema magic and make my shit look better. So it is what it is, deal with it. It's still gonna end up perfect. But let's not even get into it. We'll pin down this side. Now that that side's pinned and we've got the translucent over here, come on, pin down proper. Then we can come back over here, scope you guys out. Oh, get you in focus. 34. 69 on TikTok. Um, and then I'll just put a bit of pressure on with my tweezers. Then work some magic. Come on. Get on there. This dock must absorb a lot of heat. I'm gonna come in with my thicker iron because it's just not plain like other docks do. Or do I not have my iron up? Oh, bro. Soz, guys, my iron has been sitting at 100, uh, 335 degrees the whole time. So that's why I'm looking a little bit, um, not as exact mundo. We've got the other Tip on, I didn't actually change it over, I switched it back because now it's not gonna matter. We're back up to 400 degrees. That's the action I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Look at that, baby. Get in there. Now I'll look at chat in a sec. Don't wanna just leave you guys hanging. Come on. It's still not really like acting like I would like it to, but we're going to run over it with, um, with uh, more solder anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's really not acting like I'd want it to. You know what? I'm changing. I am changing my tip. Just the tip. Changing my mind. What's going on? Hidden history, Ray, Yo Max, whoops. That's what he said. And you, maybe we'll come in like this. See, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Those little pools to like come up. It's really not doing it. It's not not enjoying it and my camera is not looking at where I'm at the um, viewing angle of my camera I can see like five times as much as what my camera can guys this video will be called how not to do an iPad dock I mean it's not terrible anyway it's kind of the color I'm looking for now I'll show you because that's going to be a bit hard to see through the liquid, but essentially that's kind of what I'm looking for. 
And what I'm trying to avoid is these little burn marks here. You can see where it's like bubbled. If you do that too much, you're gonna actually cut the connection. But anyway, I digress. Back to our other tip. Just a tip. On today's work, I'm doing an iPad Air 4. 60 on YouTube. Holy shit! I didn't even realize. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for the gifted. 78 on TikTok. We're killing it. Absolutely killing it. Guys, I'm happy to have one person or no people. I talk to myself anyway. Listen to a podcast. Now that we've got the um, now that we've got the actual dock in place and aligned with all that solder coming through, what that will let us do when we come in with the iron, again, with some solder on it, it's going to actually collect the solder and push it through. And then she'll look like this. Come on. Lol, it's still doing it. Amateur hour. There we go. That's the action I'm looking for. What's... See that? That's what I was trying to go for, and it just wasn't happening. But now all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I'll do it. You see that, guys? Beautiful, mate. This stock still is taking way too long to do. Um, wipe it away, wipe it away, wipe it away. The magic smoke is escaping. What even is flux? Um, flux is a solution, is a solvent that allows cleaning of the metal while it's in liquidous form so it doesn't become corroded. And it also helps metal to um, flow. So uh, the alloy to flow, solder. Alloy just being a mixture of two metals or more. Um, in this case, it's lead and tin. But that one's done. Now all that's left is to plug it in. Well, I mean, we need to clean that up. That looks a little bit shit on this other side here. Come in with some more of our shalite and our clean room cloth. Clean all this crap, crapola up. All the day's work, mate. Come on. I want to be here for the... I'm in. What I'm in? Do you mean I mean? It's I mean. M-E-A-N. Is that what you're talking about? Um, so that's all cleaned up. That's looking perfect. Now all that's left is to switch you guys over to this one. Ooh. And then connect it all together and see where we're at. Oh. I took it apart before because I wasn't going to take it apart on stream. It was going to take too long. Ooh. It was taken apart before, I should say. Um, just chuck this one in here, and I can read some comments while I do it. You are king. I am not. Um, that dude, the old fella, the Queen's dude. What's his name? The guy with the big ears, the inbred fella that's been sleeping with his cousin for the last... I don't know, 50 years or something. That's the dude that's king. Rip to him. How archaic is it to have a king and queen? Rant. So I was to my England, UK, Britain um, brothers in the chat, if there are any. I just don't understand it. We live in a progressive society where nepotism and shit doesn't belong, but yet we're meant to be all like, yeah, the king and queen. Oh, my God. I just don't see it. I don't see the value. It's um, privilege at its finest. Nepotism. Putting the boy back together. Yeah, we are. Uh, ja, ja, ja. Sorry, English is my second language. Ja, ja, ja. Technician here from the Philippines. Up late for an Aussie. Yeah, it's 150. And I reckon after this, I'm going to get into a um, Mac as well because this is going to go to buy too quick, to be honest with you. And then I can just crop up the videos and make them into long form content anyway. Oh my God, can you just like, these tweezers I dropped the other day and now that they're not like, they're not clipping shit together easy, I'm not able to like pin stuff together. 
Come on. Tiny new tweezers. Rip. Every time you drop them, it's like the worst pain that you can experience as a tech just watching your tweezers get bent. Especially favorite ones that you're like, mate, I've had them for so long. Why would that happen? Smooth. What was smooth? What did I do? Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I put a cloth there to break the battery, like the connection, not break the battery, to stop the board from connecting to the, um, the battery so when I'm plugging in shit, I don't accidentally short something out. Get in there, you dog. It's in. And now all that's left is a screen. I mean, there's a couple of cables there, but we don't have to worry about them. Screen. This dude. And that dude, I'm pretty sure they're all in. She's in. Now the magic question is, if the dock was all bent apart and smashed up like that, was the screen all right? So let's plug in. This one's USB-C, so we'll use our Mac charger that's hanging off the side here. Plug this one in. I'm going to stand up and have a look at the amp meter. Oh, baby. That's an Apple logo. Oh, I did forget to not disconnect the battery, but we will get up to the Apple logo, then it will boot loop. Can we see? Hang on. Give it a sec. Thank you for the gifted. We've got to work an iPad. That one's done. I'm going to stop recording on, not stop streaming, but stop recording. I'll do the ending after. Should we get into the Mac? I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm going to get into the Mac. Do you guys actually want to hang out uh, on YouTube so you can actually see what I'm doing? I'm happy for you to be there. Um, what time is it in Australia? It's 1.54. Putting the boy back together. Are all devices, parts, male? Lots of dudes. I call everyone dude. I DM, I get DMs from like chicks and stuff like just asking whatever the question is and I'll be like, hey mate, I've actually been out to dinner um, with friends many years ago and it was actually a big topic of discussion how I call everyone mate. They're like, dude, you're putting yourself in the friend box. I was just like, everyone's a mate. Everyone's a dude. What's up, dudes? She's a cool dude. Like, mate, again, love your TikTok videos. Glad I caught you on live. Thanks so much, man. YouTube is 100% where the action is. Hang on, I'm still on the live. Whoops. Didn't switch you guys over. Someone could have said something in the YouTube chat. Guys, we're still looking at your hands. Um... Have you done any late days phone repairs since I left Pilbara? Haven't done any, oh, I haven't done any late day phone repairs since you left Pilbara. What are we doing in Pilbara? Nah, I mean, you are the king of the interwebs. I appreciate it, but I'm not. But I understand what you're saying. You and me both, mate. But my country has accepted it, accepted matey again. Yeah, look, not for long. It's all over. Donald Trump might be king, become king of Britain, don't you think? No, I'm kidding. Don't even say that. I was kidding. I'm not a Trump fan. I'm not, not a Trump fan. I'm not anyone's enemy. Ah, I put myself in a political hole here. Back away. I don't do, get into politics. I'm not going to expose myself. Let's get into this Mac. What do you reckon? Thank you for the gifted. Have, have, a, have a missed any yeets? You definitely have. You definitely have. I yeeted a charger dock before. So this Mac here, this one's been sent in for water damage. Um, I took it apart before to have a quick look. We are looking at a, it's an A2337. It's an Air. I believe that's an Air. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh, yep. It's a MacBook Air. So this MacBook Air has been water damaged. It has been sent in for repair, not data recovery. So we're going to get in there. George just became my top one viewer. Thanks, George. George, I'm not going to lie, man. We're live on YouTube, so you can actually watch what I'm doing. If I can keep plugging it, as you can see up here. But whatevs. Um, I'll show you guys this one real quick, because I've already had a bit of a look. Oh, this camera here. So over here is where the charger port is for this Mac, this MacBook Air. Actually, let's do it like this. Actually, no. Change my mind. Change my mind again. We can see a little bit of corrosion down the bottom here on that screw. So straight away, 
We know that it's not going to be very fun. We've then got... We've then got signs of corrosion. That's all corrosion around here. And this dude here, that's corrosion. And down here, that guy looks like he's not having much fun. Right there. And if we come back up, there's a battery. We need to flip this guy up like this and disconnect him like that. Now he's unplugged. Good that he's not fried because I hate seeing these connectors or like mess up from liquid because then that means rip to the goat and we've got to replace him. We've got a big capacitor here, which I'm going to take a stab at and say it's one of the main power rails, which has a fair bit of corrosion on it. Um, let's even just quickly, I'm going to go on my multimeter here. Just have a stab. Guys, come on. Come on. L's in the chat for this capacitor. But that should not beep like that. I mean, I'm going to pull up schematics anyway. Hang on. That beeping like that means we've got continuity on both sides, which means we've got a shorted cap. I've got to pull up my schematics for this so I can even see if I've got flex board view. Just give me a sec. Paul Daniel software. If you Google flex board view, it's not even let me open it. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Now it's opening many flex board views. Can you go away? Go away. Um, favorite repair was a full of red wine wine still dripping from the customer in such liquid. I've got a phone getting sent to me at the moment that I think that's been um, in sewage water or floods and it's um, got poo water is what the customer said, which is awesome. Um, it's good that they're honest though. Like, let's be real. Uh, work, schematics. I'm just saving. I don't even know if I've got schematics for this A2337. A2337. I don't. So while I pull up schematics, I'll keep reading some. I'll see if I can even find a schematic for it. And I'll read some comments while I do that. Oops, what did I just do to my TikTok chat? Can you not do that, please? Thank you. I'm moving to YouTube. Really appreciate it. Soz, look, the TikTok's dying on its backside. Um, what board number is this, actually? Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's convenient. So that's the board number that we need for the schematic, which is an 820-02016A schematic board view file. That's if it's even available. These have to fall off the back of a truck. If they don't fall off the back of a truck, we don't have any schematics. Um, up, somebody, if somebody's got it. Guess what? I just found it. It's on our Bad Caps forum, lol. So I'm just gonna log in real quick. Never, thank you for logging in. I'm downloading the schematic. Sorry to give you a play-by-play, -play, but this is uh, dead air while I quickly grab this file so then I can move it into my program and then I'll be able to work out what line that caps on. Um, we're gonna... Can you not? Is that really just the schematic? Where's my board view? Uh-oh, I've only got a schematic. Can somebody tell me where the board view is? Allow. Bloody hell. So I've got a PDF, which is a schematic, but I need the board view to be able to compare to the schematic, which is a bit of a problem. Schematic, schematic, and silt screen, bad caps. That might be it. On YouTube live, you'll see all the detail down to the scope. 10 out of 10 recommend. Thanks so much, mate. Control, alt, delete. You have you changed your username? I see your profile picture all the time. Don't get me creeped out, but you've kept me, on, but you've kept me company on so many lonely nights. George, that is not creepy, mate. I appreciate it very much, dude. I'm just saying. Oh, guess what, guys? Not only do I have the schematic, but I also have the board view. And then I'm going to pull that up on stream. I can't pull it up on TikTok. So if you want to see it, you've got to jump over to YouTube. Again, shameless plug. Um, extract files. I'm just moving it 
to where I keep all my schematics organized. Again, they've got to fall off the back of a truck. Apple doesn't go out here, independent repairer. Here's our information. They reckon we'll like hack it and stuff, but you can't hack a machine by knowing the value of a resistor or some shit like that, you know? It's crazy, but it happens. Um, we're gonna call this one Mac, MacBook Air A2337-820020. And then over on Flexboard View, we'll be able to go File, Open. I don't know why it's not going to my default location, but it is what it is. Awesome. Just give me one more sec, guys, because now I've got to plug in this program because I haven't set it up before that you guys will be able to view schematics. Um, the schematics and the um, board view. So I'll do that for you guys so we can both look at it together. Or look at it together, I should say, not both. There's not just two of us. Do you know what I mean? How much do you charge for repairs, Max? These kind of repairs generally range, like average. I don't like talking about this because it can get misconstrued. But on average, I'd probably say like these kind of repairs are 200 to 400. Um, but repairs start at $88 and go up from there. It all depends on what needs to be done and everything like that. They're quite nuanced, you know. Um, just give me a sec while I add, do we have ZXW? Oops, there we go. And Microfish. And there we go. So this guy here, can you just get in view, mate? Like, please? This has been so weird. Anyway, this is our schematic. And then if I swap back to this guy over here, this is our board view. So just a moment ago, if you guys noticed, um, the battery connector, which might be this guy here. Let's see. Maybe bus, maybe not. Hang on, let me get my orientation. This is a battery connector. Yep, this is a battery connector. And this guy here is the guy that was um, shorted. So he is PP bus A on. Whatever PP bus A on is, he's shorted. So now that we've got that, let's go back to our board view and continue to have a look. And then we're going to take this board out because all we can see is all around here. Anyway, let's start unscrewing. Oh, I'm dropping my multimeter cords. Don't do that. So I was ripped to the goat. Kind of went off on tangents there. Well, not tangents. You know what I mean? It looks like it's frozen. I keep looking at uh, the camera and it looks like I keep freezing up. Am I? Or am I not? Hang on. Before I start just going ham at this, I need to organize my screws from this air so I don't get confused between the two. Here. 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 This one here that one there, and this one there. And we're good to go. Where do you get your schematics? I just pulled up that schematic, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I just pulled up that schematic from badcaps.com. So it's just a forum where people post um, schematics and things like that. Can you not just slip around like that, dude? Stop being so gnarly. Um, but yeah, you just gotta search the net. Sometimes they're available, sometimes they're not. There's not much you can do about it if they're not. You just gotta, Hopefully go off prior knowledge, and if you can't go off prior knowledge, then rip to the goat. You've got to wait for schematics. There's certain parts that you won't have access to, certain um, details you won't be able to work out without the schematics, so that's just the way it goes down. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I talking to myself? Um, jump over on YouTube. You can see the schematic scope cam. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the shout out. You guys could have TikTok open and YouTube. I don't see the point in that, but I know some people do it. Not dissing them, just saying YouTube, mate. Still got 50 on TikTok. I appreciate it big time. I am actually reading your chats now. Hey, by the way, one of the captions at the end says vain, not villain. What? Vain, not vain. What are you talking about? One of your captions says, oh, I don't care about that. Your captions on another video, rip that. 
If you actually look at some of my YouTube thumbnails, you'll see the, the other day I did a YouTube uh, thumbnail that says it's repairs is spelled incorrectly. I had a mate point it out. I left it intentionally because I don't care. And it's not I don't care because it doesn't need to be perfect. It's why would I waste my time trying to change something that it actually doesn't matter. I think too many people try and focus on doing shit perfect where perfection is just an excuse for delaying doing something. Like the other day, I don't know, why is this, why is this one being so hard? What's going on here? What kind of screw is he? Oh, here we go. I did have him. Um, yeah, I don't try and get everything perfect. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. You know what I mean? Keep it up, bro. Appreciate it. Can you fix NDS? Do you mean Nintendo DS? Not NDS, like um, the health system over in the UK. Is that what it's called? Oh, no, I'm thinking NDIS. Whoops. Saws. Is this one ready to come up? No, because we've got the display connector as well. Wrong one. Does that make sense? All days work, mate. Great attitude. Thanks so much, man. I really appreciate it. I used to get caught up all the time trying to make everything perfect. I've wanted to create content uh, for 15 years and I've only been creating content for the last two years um, doing these videos and stuff like that. And when I was younger, the excuse was uh, psh, I was just always not good enough, you know, whether it was audio, whether it was video. My video here sucks. I absolutely hate the video setup that I've got going, but it's good enough to get going, you know. I kind of told myself once I get to a certain sub count, um, a certain reason that proves that otherwise I can do this, then I'll worry about spending money. But right now, we're not worried about spending money. Have we? What else do we have here? We've got something else. I haven't taken this one apart, obviously, before. We've got a flex here. This is the first time doing uh, this Mac. So first time doing an Air 4 dock, and now we're doing a Mac. Come on, come up. Maybe he doesn't have to come up. Yeah, he does. And then just give him a bit of a flick. And you flick him up. This one can come out. We can get this one out the way. Oh. And then we can continue to have a look underneath the microscope. How's the shaking going today? Much better. I'm still having a coffee though. Flip you guys, oh, flip you guys into this one, and now we can have a look at the rest of the board. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I hope that's not corrosion on that dude. That's a CD3217. That's a USB-C, um, USB-C MUX. That's a guy that communicates between um, the USB-C port and the power supply to tell it, hey, I want 20 volt from the charger. Hey, you're a display. Hey, you're this, you're that. And the problem is I don't have any CD3217s, nor do I have any donor boards. Guys, do you reckon we know what the problem is? I've got to show TikTok that. It's um, hard to see because of my stupid background. No, you're not going to be able to see it. This shit down here, it's all corrosion. But anyway, that's definitely going to be our problem or some of our problem. Anyway, look how gross that is. Ooh. He's had a bad day, mate. Um, what else we got here? I'm happy about that. That display connector down there looks awesome. Gorgeous, mate. And maybe we need to take this guy off. How do we take this guy off? I guess with these screws here. Get this one back out of the way. Switch you guys back over here. I'm just going to take this cooler off because I don't know. Whoa, lucky I was putting force against him. That spring almost launched that screw. He yeeted him away, mate. These um, barely even have any screws holding anything in. Have you not ever fixed something? What do you mean? I'm confused. What do you mean? I fix shit all the time. That's all I do. I haven't fixed this board before, this particular model, ever. First time dealing with it. When it says PP bus anon, I've never seen that phrase before. Now I'd imagine with those screws out, this guy just comes out with a little bit of force, like that. Yeah, we can yeet him away, and then we can chuck you guys back under here. 
that's our CPU, which I'm happy about because everything looks mint, mate. This guy here, this guy here, there's a little bit of schmutz here, but I'm not worried about that. And this looks clean here. I am worried about this guy here. So if we come back over here, we'll be able to get a look of an angle underneath our CD3217 here. And see that, if you guys can see what I'm seeing, I'm just looking at those balls on the corner there. It actually looks tidy. It doesn't look like that corrosion has got any further than that area just there. Um, that's all looking good. All looking good. I reckon that, that's going to be our issue, to be honest with you. What do you guys reckon? Lol. Of course that's going to be our issue. Um, so let's go find out what this guy is. So if we have a look, he's on the other side. So we've got our CD3215s here. And then if we come along here, we've got a coil. That's an inductor. Um, and then we've got, I would imagine that's like a Wi-Fi chip. I reckon that's our Wi-Fi chip. Where's the Wi-Fi antenna? Look at that. There's our Wi-Fi antenna. That's our Wi-Fi chip, no doubt. A couple of caps. MOSFET of some sort, type. And this guy here. So if we actually flip you guys over to our board view, we go find, here's our CD3217s here. We come along here. This is our coil. And then we've got this guy here. So this guy, if we go look him up and swap you guys over to here, what is he? USB-C support 1, ATC01. I've no idea what that means. What's digging? Doing a bit of a repair. It is 12, uh, 212. Jump on over to YouTube as the bio says. Are we doing well? We are doing well. I'm happy with 25. Um, so it looks like that this guy takes in power from a, a 1.25 S2 line here. And it also has another line here at the top. These look like data lines. This 8 one is an, an enable switch. So that tells me that this guy here, this capacitor, has to work or not be shorted in order to turn it on. And this works by communicating with this resistor over here, which it looks like, I don't know, it takes in this 3.3 volt line, does something to it, and then compares it to this line here, which... I don't even know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. And I'm not even saying that as a joke. It's just like, let's work it out. So in order to fix this one, first we need to ascertain if any of this is the issue. To be able to do that, we need to clean up this area and find out what's going on. We are looking at the right area there, aren't we? Surely. Am I? Yeah, definitely. Confirmed. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our All Smiles toothbrush. We're going to get it some nice alcohol drink. What's up, mate? Where are you located? I am located in Early Beach, the Wit Sundays. Whereabouts are you located, mate? Are you guys as surprised as I am about how clean that's coming up? No, I'm not. You saw it. Max, aren't you tired? Nah. <sighs> Not yet, anyway. How good's that? That guy, I don't think that guy is going to let corrosion get underneath him. <sighs> but let's find out. Let's pull him back over here and we'll have a look at him. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know, that looks pretty good to me. Just those capacitors around him and that burnt pad. We're still going to lift him up, but I reckon. I reckon that's going to be the move. 
we're going to lift him up and give him a bit, bit of a clean, and then we're going to find out what's going on. So this guy right in front of him, what is he again? I think that was a capacitor. Yep, that's a capacitor. That's our 1.25 volt line, our S2 line. S2 typically only works with S3 lines on older boards, but if we switch to our... Come on, is it? Oh, look at that. I touch him. Wobble, wobble. See ya. He's gone. Didn't even have the opportunity to test it. But let's see if there's a short. I'm not getting anything. Oh, there we go. There is. We shouldn't be getting a beat like that. So that line is shorted. What else is connected to that dude? Just those capacitors over there. This big chip here. So right along here, there's a path here that he's connected to. Because we've got a short there, let's just make sure that it's not low resistance. I'm just going to diode mode, checking this one. That's a full short, and that's a full short. So we're going to have to remove him. That's all we can do. Love your videos, really appreciate it. I'm live on YouTube right now, as the thing says. More than welcome to jump on over, have a bit of a gander. I don't know how we're going to go with this one because we've got that burnt out resistor there as well but we'll see what the goal is. I've just got to remember that this chip orientation is the top right. We're going to chuck down a little bit of flux here. And then we're going to come in and lift this guy up. I need more heat than that though. The problem is with doing this repair now is I don't have any donor boards. Um, not having any donor boards means that I might get stuck because I won't have this part. So if I can't revive this, I think it's a QFN chip, even though it looks, I think it's a QFN, but I'll show you what I mean by QFN in a sec, once this guy comes up. So we're just gonna smash him with a bit of heat. It's this resistor here that I reckon is gonna be a bit of a bitch. And this guy here is probably a bit troublesome as well. What's up from South Australia? Just doing a bit of a repair, mate. Come on. Come on. See, my hot air is absolutely terrible. I'm so going to buy a new one. Come Monday. I'm buying a new hot air station because this is at 400 degrees and he should have let go by now. Now I'm up to 415. Love your videos. Did I read that one before? I'm not too sure. Rip. Or is that another love your videos? I appreciate it anyway. And then that's a lot of heat. Yeah, 100% this is a lot of heat. But I reckon this guy might be shorted because if he comes up and this line tests fine, then we're in a bit of strife. But we'll see. There we go. Would you look at that? So that's different. I've never seen a setup like that before, eh? We come back like this. Come on, just want to show you guys. I've never seen a chip like that before. Ever. Different. Anyway, with him off, I'm going to pop him off to the side. We don't want to lose him. Whoop, come off. And then we're going to see what we're getting now. And if it's still short, then we're going to be playing the guessing game. It is. Hmm, interesting. Let's just let that cool down. Watching from New Mexico, really appreciate it, man. Thanking you so much. Nope, you didn't. No, we're not going to yeet it away. We're keeping it. Can you just clean up, please? And cool down. Hmm. I wonder what this guy, USB-C. Did something just come flying off then? Did I just see something? 
Something looks like it came flying off. I'm not sure what that is. Whatevs. Holy shit. Can you guys see that? Because I can. That's not very fun. See that? That's a big hole in the board. That is a big old hole. Am I looking at the right thing here? Making me question myself. Because mm, it doesn't look like that on the board view. That looks different. Something's going on here. Something is going on here. 2061. 2061. That was the board number, wasn't it? Yep. I don't know what's going on here. I'm looking at... Oh, guys, I am looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the board view over here, but we're all the way over here. Give me a sec. That's what you get for being a numbskull. That dude is... PP bus 3v3 S2. Hmm, what does that mean? I'm going to enable, so let's actually look up what he is. I'll switch you guys over as well. So, he is our, our 3v3, because it looks like it takes in 3v3 over here, and then it looks like it spits out 3v3 P good, 3v3 feedback, 3v3 VOS, don't know what that is. 3v3 switch. Hmm. Power enable. So this guy here, if we have a look again, this guy here, this cap capacitor, he is, are we looking at this the same way? Now let's flip it around. Rotate, view, clockwise. Clockwise. Oh my god, what am I doing? No, that is right. Anyway, I'm just trying to get the right view and I'm being mad stupid about it. So, I just want to get a diode reading again. That's full short to ground. What else do we have on that line that looks sus? The only other thing that we have on that line is this capacitor here. That's it. What we can do though, we can pump some voltage into it to hopefully be able to work out what's going on. I'm not too sure though, to be honest with you guys. Rip to the gate. Um, it could also be that bad shorted that it's touched the ground plane of the board. And now because of that, it's being shorted internally. So for example, if we scratch away at this like I am, that can be touching that. And then this is going to be a very hard which it looks like it is. How do we stop that? Mm, I'm not sure that I'm going to get anywhere with this one. Unless I'm going to get trolled by it. That's all. And it's meant to be reading like that. But I highly, highly doubt it. Nope, that reading has changed since, since I started scratching at it. So what we can do... Let's just get you guys nice and focused here. Ooh. So this guy here is not meant to be connected to this part here. And we can see it's completely shredded up all along here. Uh, it wouldn't be coming apart like that. But if we carefully 
very carefully just start doing these ones. We can remove the internal short, hopefully. Very carefully though, because we don't want to just dig in randomly. And then periodically as we do it, we're going to check and see where we're at with it. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Not looking good, 99. Not looking good. I might inject some voltage. Do I have some free spray? Oh. Let me... No, nah, I don't have any free spray. But what I can do is I can take my alligator clips over here. Here and here. And we're going to pump some voltage into it and see what gets hot. Water damage, the worst, I know. Miss the start of the stream. We got 3v3. We don't have to put three into it. We're just going to do like one because there's no point of pumping that much into it. One at two amp. Water damage fun, man. And we got this stupid board damage here that is not looking great, to be honest with you. And the only things it's connected to is this guy over here, which he's not on ground, so he can't be short. And it's also connected to, hmm, where else? Oh, there's another one there. I missed him. This guy here. So this small guy here and this guy is on the same line as this dude that's missing from here that decided to yeet himself away before and then it's connected to this thing here which that's not on the board view so i'm just imagining that's ground tbh i don't know though like i said i haven't worked on this one before so we're dealing with a bit of unknowns here but we're going to see what happens when we chuck some some of this over it get wet and now that it's wet we're going to grab our tweezers one on ground and then we're going to put one on the positive and see which what gets hot oh you red you guys ready Nothing. Nothing. It's not even drawing a current. Is this even... Those tweezers are not drawing any power. What's going on there? Let's switch our tool. My God. There we go. So just a... I can't really show you guys what I'm doing. There we go. So I've got two tweezers here. They're connected to my power supply. They're now electrified. We're now going to come in a bit closer. Ooh. And we're going to see if anything gets hot around here when I pump one volt in there at two amp. And then we'll also check the other side. So again, one on ground. You guys, is, am I imagining that? I think I am. Just give it a sec. It's only doing 200 milliamp. It should be like pumping, pumping. Come on, let's see some action. Yeah, see that goes nuts straight away. I actually think I'm just waiting. 
I could be a sand ship, but it looks like that it's getting away from there. But it's not actually going crazy as well. So maybe it's just a low resistance line. I honestly don't know. I have no idea. I just don't think we should have straight continuity like that on that particular line. And we should definitely be see something more, seeing something more than that. We'll try this other side here. And I could also be barking up the wrong tree. Or there could be something that connects the two lines, but we'll find out. Is it here? And on that side's positive. So let's see what happens when I do this. Same thing. Nutter. Absolutely nothing. There's a partial short going on there. So let's flick you guys back to our schematic and see what else could be connected. So I'm getting a short on C712, which is this guy here. And this guy is connected to 3V3. That's why I'm pumping power into it. Now this VIN number one and number eight are right next to each other and there's a resistor here at zero resistance so it's pretty much just like a line connecting 3v3 power enable so if we go have a look at one and i here that's one no one and number eight are connected this guy so these guys are not connected but that i mean they're all in the same shit essentially they're all in the same shit power in and enable Hmm. Let's have another look at that then. Oh my God, can you just go back to the microscope camera? Thank you. Then why is it showing up as short? Because it is short, it's gotta be. Otherwise, it wouldn't be drawing power when I put power into it. Unless that there's a chip that consumes power when it's told to turn on. I don't know, guys. But it's saying 0.02 now. And I thought that that was all ground along here. But it does make sense that it comes over here. I'm just being a dickhead. Here. This guy's ground. That's full. So here and here. There is a slight difference between them. You know what? Let's stop me messing around here. With that removed, let's chuck down old mate again and see what happens. Let's see if that changes. I might have just wasted everyone's time. Do you know what I mean? Keep it, yeet it. Yeet it or keep it, what do you reckon? Um, what's this guy here actually? He is our P good S2 line. And it is a 100 kilo ohm resistor, so I can replace him, which he does need to be replaced by the looks of things. So let's come down with some of this and smash it with a bit of heat. So as if I just wasted your time, don't mean to do it to you. What's everyone doing up so late? Do you know what I mean? Beep it, yeet it. Ah, uh, cheers, I missed the start of the stream. Sent likes to me. Hey there, how are things? Things are good. What's digging, Max? Bedtime? No way. You're number one? I don't know if I'm number one. Number one at being a dickhead, not being able to read schematics, I reckon. The reason why I want to take off this resistor, you'll see once he comes off, Oh, we don't want to use that tweezer because he's still live on power. See how this end looks all shiny and then this end doesn't? Once he comes off, it's off anyway. We'll replace him. I don't like seeing this. It looks disastrous. Oh, man. All right. Time to put old mate back on. 
I don't like this. Chrissy, I don't like this. Afternoon from the UK. Is it? Oh, wait, this guy's still having a bad time, isn't he? Hang on, let's clean him up first. I was going to chuck him back down, and he looks like he's just had a night out in the town. Bruh. We don't want to lose him. So we're just going to take some alcohol. He might be toast as well. Who actually knows how this repair is going to go? Prob's going to be a waste of time. Up until I can get these replacement parts. But we'll find out. I'm just being delicate so he doesn't go flying. Because I can't replace him. If he does. It doesn't look too great, eh? If I can just pin him down there, get him in focus. Is this all kicked up? Yeah, it is. That doesn't look too great. Uh-oh. F's in the chat for this dude, man. Ooh. You know what? I'm still going to use him. Just to see if we can get a dub. I'll still replace him after the fact because he's not going to be hard. But let's see if we can even get ahead with him. You know what I mean? So late, it's 6.30 p.m. Nah, man, it's 2.39 in the morning here in Australia. Don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Is my coffee done? No. Oh, but it is cold. How come iced coffee is so tasty, but um, when your coffee goes cold, it's like kind of disgusting? Can anyone answer this for me? Appreciate you guys hanging out. I just had a look and there's still 50 people on TikTok. Buggers me how you can sit here and listen to me dribble shit. Can you just go on straight now? Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. With him, whoops, let's get you off that edge bit there. And then we're just going to smash it with a bit more flux. And then we're going to see him move in place, hopefully. Come on, buddy. You know you want to. Go on your home. Happy Gilmore it. Oh, I just seen it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can. Alright. Now, is that resistance changed? It has. Not by much. And the board's hot, so if anything, it should go up further. But anyway, I digress. With that one, pseudo... Kabluto, because it probably is Kabluto. Um, the next bit is, that's all good. This dude down here. We'll just give him a bit of a clean and see how he measures. Can you not fall off, please, mate? Thank you. Ah. I reckon they look healthy, but we'll find out. Like battery is dead. What's wrong with your battery? Hey, dude, admit your personal post. Oh, admire your personal post. Fair play to you. Really appreciate it, man. It, I've got to be real. It was kind of hard to put it out, but it kind of wasn't. I always tell everyone around me, like, the biggest thing I get asked is, like, how do you put content out? Aren't you insecure? Aren't you this? And the answer is, of course, because I'm human. 
but I encourage everyone to do it. And one of my things is they're both testing fine. One of my things is that the more you put yourself out, the better the results will be. And I'm not just talking business. I'm just saying if you are comfortable with putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, the more comfortable you'll become, the more of a happy person you'll become. And by putting yourself in those uncomfortable positions, that's where greatness is. As cliche and as corny as that sounds, I really, 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 really believe it. So when I sit there in my own head going, I really don't want to post something like this, that's why I said, fuck that guy, because that is not the guy I want to be. I want to be someone that's confident that can put out stuff and not worry about it, which in turn, even if I'm procrastinating on it, once I do it, does make me confident, doesn't it? You know what I mean? But I appreciate your comment. It, have you tried leaving it in rice? Yeah, mate. Rice will work. Oh, someone came off then. See that dude just came off? What the? Why did he just decide to vacate? And what is he? What do you reckon he is? Looks like he's a diode of some sort. Let's go have a look. It is a diode. It is our second diode along. And that dude takes a USB-C, USB top N. I don't know, but it does something. So let's see if we can put him back home. I don't know. I don't like our chances. Diodes don't normally come off like that. Hang on, I've got to pop him down and come in from the other angle. Whoa. And now I've also spotted this guy over here, which I didn't see before. This capacitor here looks a little bit dodgy. We're going to have to sort him out as well. Let's see how we go with this first. No, he's not going on. So what's happened here? Did that just clean rip off? I think that just clean ripped off. I am not too sure. I don't know, but he doesn't look good. Was that my toothbrush, toothbrush fault? Possibly, but it's never happened before. Let's see what happens when we hit it with our, um, with our soldering iron. Let's see if it comes, cleans up. Yep, there's bits coming off there. So it looks like he's just completely chipped away. Maybe this one's delicate. Mistakes were made. I can rip him off a donor board though. But that's not a drama. Come on. Can you please? Bloody hell. Yeet it. I don't want to yeet him. No, maybe I should. Lol. We're going to grab him. Oh yeah, I'll put him away for later and we're going to yeet him if I can't get, fix it. But I'm pretty sure that just ripped off the diode straight clean off. And I promise this never happened. My all smiles is generally pretty good. There we go. I'm away. Um, do I have another one of these boards ready to go for that diode? Probably not. Can I get away with using um, one of the other ports? Maybe. Where is he? I put him over here somewhere, didn't I? Now I can't see him. Oh, God, guys. Oh, wait, here he is. See him? We're going to have to yeet. 
It's a yeet away. Rip. Foz. All right, so we've got that done. I'm going to stop talking shit. Now this guy here goes to this guy here. So we'll be able to charge off this one, hopefully. Or maybe not, actually. One, two, three. One, two, three. I would imagine so. Let's hope that this guy still works for our testing purposes, which I reckon he will. I'm going to wait for this. I'm going to do some rapid cooling on this one with my alcohol. It's lit! Obviously this one's taken a little bit longer than the Air 4 because there's a lot of I don't knows that happens on the big jobs. This guy down here doesn't look too healthy. I actually, honestly guys, if you're looking for the dub here, I don't think it's going to happen to be real. If I'm going to be real, this guy here is, he's just looking like a hard, he's had a hard time. Looks like he's about to break up with his missus and just pack his bags and go. Or maybe not. It's just a bit of Cropola. See what I mean, though? The other diodes didn't mind that. Same here. Oh, I don't know why that guy just decided to vacay. The entire board clearly cursed. Yeah, it happens. It definitely happens. Not much you can do about it. But what I am going to do about it is stop recording this repair because I don't know what I'm doing. And there's no point making content out of something that I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? Even doing this live is a little bit... Ooh, a little bit risky. Christy! Is there anything else along here? Maybe that dude's not good. No, nah, he's fine. Or from what I understand, he's fine. Now, what is this test like? That test shit. That's what that test like. Everything else looks good. It's good. This guy down here. He's short as well. So, but he's actually reading identical readings as um, the one that I said that isn't making sense to me. So, let's go find him. Where is he? He's next to the battery connector and then the three square chips. So, battery connector here, three square chips, and then he's this dude right here, which is PP Bat. Is that the right guy? It is. PP Bat. A non charger reg. Um, none of these guys are connected. They are connected over to here. And it's connected to our ISL 6295. I think that is. No, not 6295. ISL 9240. That's our that's where the battery power goes and then creates the rest of the power for the Mac. Um let's go have a look at these guys. Oh, he's on a filter. So he could also be PP Bus Anon, which is that first guy that we found as well. You guys remember if I switch you back over to here. And I pointed out this guy and said he doesn't look too healthy and I tested him and he's um, short. He's on PP Bus Anon. Do you guys remember me saying that? And I was like, I don't know what Anon is. But look, that's going to clean up real nice. That's perfect. Huzzah. Even that diode. Is that all right? Oh, it doesn't look too happy. Oh, well. It's going to be good enough. So this guy could be a problem. And then again, he connects to these guys over here. And then this is a fuse. So if we go... Just became another top one viewer. Really appreciate it. Dude, love your channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted. Can you do a PS4? I sure can, man. So that one's good. But if we've got shit reading on this side, which we do, 
we're going to have a shit reading on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to narrow down. I'm going to narrow down what's going on here. And the way I'm going to narrow it down, believe it or not, because that's a fuse. That guy goes from battery power to our PP bus. I'm going to remove it because then that tells me which side the issue is on. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? But before I remove him, come on, can you not? I'm going to come in with some low melt because then that way he doesn't have to get too hot and I don't want to destroy him. Come on. Right about there. Come on. Thank you. That looks messy as. And right about there. I don't know why that's been so messy. Anyway, this board might soak up a lot of heat. Because see how that's spiking up? But then again, it is short to ground. Let's find out what happens now when I remove him. Does that make sense? Does, do, do I have any other fellow techs in here understanding what I'm doing? Because I've got an issue on both sides of this fuse. Again, by removing him, I'll be able to test each side individually and see if there's a change. And there will be a change unless there's a conundrum where both sides have an issue, but typically they won't. Come on. We should start to see him melt soon. Like that. And like that. And like that. So then we can come in and grab him. Come on. Just like that. Up he comes. Lovely. Now we're going to pop him away because he's fine. He's not the problem. But then we'll be able to see which side. What's digging? How much for your bathwater, bro? Join the OnlyFans, man. DM me there, and we can go from there, I reckon. And guess what? So on this side now, which is our PP bat Anon charger reg. No issue, and an issue. So if we come back again, We don't have an issue. Oh, I'm moving this side, not my actual schematic. So I don't have an issue on this side here. We have the issue on this side over here. Now, PP bus are non. That means he could be any one of these guys. Where we've actually got the issue. And again. <laughs> hmm. PP bus are non. This guy's connected to him. All these caps looked fine though. Not this big dude over here. That's the big dude that I cleaned. These bits. This bit. Interesting. I don't know. I'm going down a rabbit hole here, guys. Unless we open up this dude. And then I swap you guys over to have a look at him. So this dude here is... Um, high side current sense so it looks like that the dude that i just pointed at last the square with the four circles he judges the current between pb bus and v3 v in and then if that goes in he plugs it into this dude here which then works out the difference essentially so it judges the um voltage between these two and then it does something i guess it spits out this 3v3 hs out and then that goes to V3V H-Sense. Man, do you guys go cross-eyed? Because I do. But the resistance here is very low, which means maybe we should remove him and find out what happens. Maybe we should come back over here. Oh, not move you guys, Soz. Mm. Let's go have a look at him. Is he good? Oh. Man, I need like hotkeys so I don't have to keep switching between windows to control looking at this compared to that. Do you know what I mean? So that's this guy here. 
which is that same messed up area. So here's our current sense. This guy, or that's our resistor that does a current sensing in here. And then this guy could have an issue many areas. But I'm just going to have to have a look at all those PP bus and on and see if I see anything that's dodgy because that looks fine, but I could be wrong. Is it clear that I don't know what I'm doing with this particular one? Need practice. So in my opinion, I don't think it could be either of this guy or this guy. No, this guy here or this guy because they all look fine. There's nothing. I mean, actually, out of the four of them, they're all the same. What are they on? Interesting. They're all on the same line, these guys, but he looks different, but I don't know if that matters or not. He doesn't look burnt out, though. But anyway, let's not get distracted. Over to our fuse. Another guy here that's on that same line. And then we've got these guys. This big guy here, he's on the same line. Is that on the same line? It is. And look, he had some schmutz around him. Let's, see, let's play the game and see what gets hot. How about that? I should probably just skip into it. Pretty schmick? Yeah, I reckon. 60 of you guys. Holy moly. How many have we got on YouTube? 40? You guys, mate, you guys, are the, I literally am sitting here talking Crapola and going, mate, everyone's probably bailed. And you're hanging out with me. Give me company of a night time. You're the best. Um, so if I actually flip you guys back to here, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cycle through um through pp bus anon and what i'm looking for is oh we don't want to move that again size guys i keep doing that i don't mean to oh my god can you just resize let's just do this get you as big as possible and plant you in the middle thank you so i'm going to cycle through this i'm going to find out how oh my god i just did it again i'm going to cycle through it and i'm going to find out how many volts is on it see this this is a fuse pp bus anon come along here 13, oh, don't spaz out, 13.5 volts. But we don't need 13.5 volts when we're testing things. We just need to know how much to not push it to so we know we're not going to fry a circuit. So let's just do 3 volt at 2 amp and let's see if anything gets hot on this line. Now again, if I flip you guys back over here, we're looking at particularly, oops, just to begin with, we're looking at this cap here, this cap here, and this cap. Now, my idea is even though this guy looks gross over here, we're going to ignore him for a minute. My idea is, or I'm hoping that this guy gets real hot. And then again, this guy's on the same line as well. I just got to double check that. Yep. So this guy could also be getting hot. But let's find out if we make this whole area wet and inject voltage into it. Let's see if we can see. Our problem child pop up, our Jake Paul. Lol. Um, where's our other tweezers? One on ground. And then let's pump some voltage in. Now that guy is getting hot, but I'm also injecting voltage into him first. I ran out of free spray as well, and like an idiot, I didn't go buy any to today. And if I did, this would be a lot easier than putting alcohol everywhere. That's weird. I'm just going to make sure I got those polarities correct. I'm not seeing anything. It should be like real, it should stand out like really quick. Let's see what happens with this guy here. 
the alcohol is not the best to do this with, but we'll have to do. Nothing. It's only 600 million as well. I'm getting, I'm going to get trolled, I reckon, on this board. Let's come back and blast voltage into this dude up here and see if anything happens. And if I don't, I'm going to, the last thing I'm going to try is my thermal camera. The reason why I'm doing it like this is so you guys can see. But the thermal camera. Oh, check out that. Oh, buddy. I found it. And guess who it is? You ready? I'll show you what I'm trying to do for you guys. Surprise, surprise. It's our guy over here. If we come back. Wet him up. Come back over here. One on here. And... One on here. You ready? Are you ready, kids? See those bubbles coming up? That is a full short. Well, not a full short because it's 600 million and I'm pumping two amp through it. But if we then come back to our problem child, our Jake Paul, I'm going to pull him up. I'm going to switch you guys over and we're going to have a look at what this one has in common here. What does it have in common with um, our battery line? Why is that being connected there? So we've got 3V3S2. We've got 3V3S2 P good, which just goes through that 100 kilohom resistor, but I'm pretty sure that's the one we removed before. Yep. That's the one that is missing from before. We've got 3V3 S2 VIN, so voltage in, which comes into VIN, voltage in. We've got an enable. We've got a SSTR, which I don't know what it is. We've got a V-cell, don't know what it is. We've got a mode, don't know. We've got a feedback. If we come down to this feedback, looks like the feedback looks at a 3V3 as well. And then we've got this feedback over here. More feedback. Another feedback. Um, so 3V3 S2. Where is 3V3 S2 compared to battery? I'll show you guys. So 3V3 S2 in. This dude here. Check out this. If I switch you guys back to this guy here. So this is a guy that's getting hot. Right here, on this end, 3v3 S2 enable. Pin, why is, come on. Battery and on, that's what we're injecting power into. So why is he getting hot? What's right next to this guy? Right there. So that's pumping into him. It's then getting hot. I reckon if we remove it, we'll remove the short. And then Bob's your uncle, all the shorts inside there. And if that is our problem, Unfortunately, I won't be able to fix it tonight because I don't have a replacement of him and then rip to the goat. Do you know what I mean? Did what I say, just let me just check with YouTube. Did what I say make sense then? Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? That the 3V3 S2 in is next to the battery and on on that resistor and that resistor connects our UC710 and that's the guy that's getting hot. Okay, my brain hurts. Yeah, my brain hurts. That's what I'm asking if it makes sense what I'm saying. Makes sense. Awesome. Because I'm kind of like trying my best. It does actually help talking about it. Because sometimes when I'm looking at this shit, I do go cross-eyed. So one or two things are going to happen. We're going to remove this guy. And then our short's going to be gone. And then if it is, we know that he's our problem on that battery line. We can chuck our fuse back down. We can wrap it up until we get a replacement one of this guy. Are you guys curious? This repairs 350 bucks. If I get a result, if I don't, it's going to be 88 bucks. And that's the amount of time that I just spent on it. And who knows, after I fix this, it might be another issue. Will it be? I doubt it. 
And then the worst thing about this is that that um, board is all teared up on the inside. And because the board's all teared up on the inside, perhaps it's jumping shit together that shouldn't be jumped together. Can you just come up, buddy? Come on, mate. And the worst part about this is it's a relatively new Mac, which means that um, I might not be able to get one of these, so it means that I'll have to buy a donor board. And if I have to buy a donor board, that's going to set me back like 500 bucks. but I'll get a couple of repairs out of it. It'll pay itself back. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. This board just loves the heat, eh? Thank you. Okay, we've got him off. Look how much it loves the heat. The whole mat has gone sideways. Can you not? And then if I'm right, this line on that fuse should be good. And if it's not, then we've got to short inside the board. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We do. So the only way I can get around that, because that's still measuring the same. Oops. Whoopsie. Is the only other thing that this has in common. So again, we're coming from here. It goes through this guy here, or this guy in particular, and then connects this bastard. So there's nothing else that's around that area that gets it hot. So my thinking is if we remove this guy, we'll be able to see that that line then comes good. And then it just comes down to, if it doesn't, then we've got a short within the board, which is a real big problem. And if it does, then we should be able to fix it. So I'm really hoping once we remove this, we'll remove the short. One last thing. I appreciate it. This is interesting. I think so too. I'm surprised that anyone's even watching this, to be honest. Me dribble on. I can do another repair after this if you guys want. I can go all night. I've got a whole shelf there stacked. I can just do an iPad Air while we talk shit, because I can do that on autopilot. 45 of you guys in TikTok. What's going on, mate? You guys can't even see what I'm doing. You're just hearing me talk shit. It's stuck on good, it is. Part is welded to the board. It's not weld. So the different, main difference between welding and uh, solder is solder is mixing metals together by heat. Welding is fusing by heat. So uh, can you undo a weld? I'm not too sure. Maybe there's tools to do it. You have to physically break them apart where you can undo a solder like this. Boom. We've now got him off. And now the goal is when I, I'll change this over to continuity mode. The goal is between these two pads here, we don't have continuity. Oh, W's in the chat, guys. No short. I mean, there is a short within the board, but it's got to be on this end. Hear that? Short. Short. Short, 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 short. So... I wonder how we're going to do it. Interesting. So what I mean is when I'm measuring, again, this resistor here. Oh, uh oh, why are you doing that? Oh, no, you're not. This part here is no longer measuring bad. It is when I'm tapping him, but it's not measuring bad here, but it is here. So this whole area is what's short, and that's why that was getting hot and it was bridging across here. So the only other thing we can do is inject power into there and find out, or we need to find out how much power that is. And that's why I was only injecting three volt because you never know what's connected on the other end. So again, let's flip you guys back here. Over this guy here, this is our 13 volt. 
and then this. Holy, that's why I was only doing three volt because that guy's only 3v3. So that would have blasted in here. So the reason why this is all burnt out all around here is because 13 volt probably went bang straight through there and destroyed this bastard. I don't know that for a fact, but it definitely could be possible. So now the goal is to find out, well, if that's 3v3 and we've got 3v3 here, is it this dude? Because the only other people it can be, that cap's gone, and these caps are left. So let's quickly do an experiment. Let's find out what happens if we remove these guys. Because this is worthwhile going down this road. So these are the last two guys that are connected on that line. So what it means is if I remove these guys and we still have a short, the short is 100% within the board. If I remove these guys and we no longer have a short, then we add one at a time, and then we find out what... what which one's the issue? And I'm going to start off with this tiny guy here. Well, don't want to slip. I'm looking at myself in the camera. I shouldn't do that. Tweezers on either end will help him heat up quicker as well. Come on. I don't want to squeeze him so hard. I feel like he's going to go flying. And same with those. Those tweezers are shit. Where's my good tweezers at? Oh, my, they were good until I dropped them. Oh, man. Can I use these? No, I can't use those. They're bent as well. Oh, man. I don't even know where my tweezers are. Oh, bother. Gonna have to come in with these bad boys. I need popcorn, this is intense. I appreciate it. Like not being intense, but the popcorn bit. Come on. Can you just come up, brother? I'm not squeezing him hard because he'll shatter. It's just like, um, is it porcelain? Ceramic. Ceramic is what I'm trying to think of, not porcelain. Hang on. Before I keep heating him up, we're just going to quickly see if the short's gone. I highly doubt it. Just gonna let it cool down for a second in case that's thrown off my um Are we? Hang on TikTok, you can't even see what I'm doing with my microscope here. Come on. Let's get that going. Ow! Burnt myself. That is slowly increasing. Come on. I think that's only because it's a short within the board. I highly doubt. I'm just going to give it a couple of secs, guys, while that cools down. While it does that, I'll quickly look at the chat. Whoop. What do we got? We've got... Um, but what if you didn't have a power bank? What do you mean, what if I didn't have a power bank? Take a power bank instead. What are you talking about? Are you guys talking amongst yourselves? That's sick. Um, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't fix, don't you yeet it out the window? I definitely don't. Um, I repair doctor. Could be an internal short. Let's hope not. I, that's what I'm suggesting, man. I actually do think that it um, is an internal short. Did you catch a video where it's all a big crater on the inside? And that could, would also explain why it's reading 0 0.005 on diode. Um, got a couple of W's there, here from the UK, can't leave till the end, the result, the, um, till the end result, the suspense is killing me. Is it reasonable to run an extension cord phone charger into the bath? Asking for a friend. I wouldn't recommend it. Not the actual bath solves, just, just into the phone. Um, just into the phone, in the vicinity of the bath. Yeah, I mean, no, I wouldn't recommend it. Take a power bank and set. I wouldn't take anything in there. Just don't have a long ass bath where your phone dies. Do you know how to test the capacitor? I do. Are you talking about 
on the board or off the board? Do you have a suggestion on how to test them on the board still, even if the line is short? Because if you do, I'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, we're talking about you. Yasmin, appreciate it. Um, quick question, MacBook Pro won't stay on unless it's on charge. Trackpad, sounds like a battery problem. Josh Payne, need to get the map off the gas to get them off. What? Need to get the map gas out to get them off. The map gas, what? Mate, out of the bath. What year is the MacBook? I think it's 2001, 2000, 2001, both. I don't know how to test the capacitor on a shorted line that's on the board. Do you have a suggestion? I've never, I thought that once the line is short that there's physically no way to be able to test. If you've got a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. My multimeter is not too um, sophisticated though. Are you talking about like doing an ohms reading and then just testing every line and seeing which one has the highest resistance, whichever one has the lowest would be the one that's on the shorted line. Yeah, we've still got a short. Unless there's this big fella here, which generally if it's a big fella, it'd be pretty noticeable. Will you fix an iPad Pro on live if I send it in? Yeah, just leave a note with it saying on live. The only consequence that you have of asking for something to be repaired by content, it means you might wait. That's all. You know what I mean? Alex, I'm waiting for your suggestion, brother. Yasmin, I'm doing well. How are you? TikTok chat, I'm not trying to let you down. It looks pretty cooked. It is pretty cooked. It's very cooked, to be honest. This big capacitor is not going to come off easy, I don't reckon. Come on. Oh man, the smell at the moment. Mmm, cooked logic board. Yummo. Come on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Alex, usually, hang on, I've got to read this. So Alex says, usually I do it off the line, either check voltage or ohms, and then see the ohms climb or the voltage depletes throughout the meter. I don't know how to do it on the line, though. Um, so do you mean... You measure voltage on the shorted line to see what the voltage is. Sometimes it helps if you apply some unleaded solder to help remove the stubborn components. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're actually 100% correct. I was doing that before. I don't know why I didn't do it there. I'm not thinking, I guess. I was 100% doing it earlier on the stream. How long have you been repairing devices for? So we 100% still have a short, which means it's internal because we've got, I'll just show you guys again. Oh, so we've got this guy removed. That's that big guy, the small guy here. This guy yeeted off on his own. This guy's removed and we've removed this guy. There's nothing else on that line. Um, Let's just go around and test each one of these. So we've got this guy here, this guy here, these guys here, these guys here, and those. I'm just gonna quickly go test those and see what readings we get really quick. I'll switch you guys back. Over 15 years. What's the name of your business? Fifteen years, that's hectic. Are you in the repair community, like on the pages and stuff? Yeah, I thought so. Let's just get in there. That guy's OL. 
That guy's fine. That guy's fine. Oh, he's pretty low. These guys are all fine. It is pretty low, these guys here. Over 15 years. I started out repairing TVs and amplifiers. Did you now? And why are these guys low? Voss. Guys, I think being an internal short, I'm kind of stuck here. Because I have an option of digging it out. And then I can run, I can put the new chip down. So after I dig it out, I can put the new chip down. Um, so you dig out the problem. Once the problem's digged out, then you can cover it up with mask. You can then create jumpers for the new QFN chip when it goes down. And then you would go, I hope it all works out. Um, the problem is with digging it out is in, with an internal short, digging it out means that you could dig into other lines that you don't intend to dig into, which means you break lines and that creates a whole mess. And then it turns into a nightmare. But this one at the moment, there's nothing I can do because I could dig it out, but I'd rather get permission from the customer first before I dig it out. Now that I've got down to the problem, we know that it's an internal short. There's nothing else that we can do about it. Should I get onto another one? I can do an iPad if you guys would like. I repair eye devices. Illinois, just give me one sec. I repair eye devices. Best Illinois, Illinois repair. Eye mechanic, eye mechanic. What's your website? I'm just trying to pull it up. Out of Illinois, I repair eye devices. 57 of you guys on here, appreciate it. Appreciate it big time. What do we got on TikTok? TikTok, you're letting it, maybe you guys are over at the other side. I repair, I found it. I found your website, I repair eye devices. About. I'm trying to find a photo of you, mate. Um, are you on any of the repair groups? Have we ever had a chat? Have you ever seen me post questions saying, what's digging repair gang? Because that's generally how I am about it. Um, I'm just going to quickly pull up a YouTube video of yours. So I can scan through it. Ah, interesting. I see your face. Nice to meet you. I don't know what your name is, Soz. But I appreciate you hanging out. How did you come across this? Was this su suggested to you by YouTube or was it on TikTok? Just came over from YouTube. Yasmin, why are you on TikTok? YouTube's where it's at, mate. Lewis. I know, it's a sad face. There's nothing I can do. Send it to Northridge. I'm not going to. Max, keep an eye out for my iPhone S6. It's on the way. Make it famous. Um, Red P Touch Label. What's digging? I really appreciate it. Start out repa repairing amplifiers. I've been asked a lot of times to be about ampli amplifiers and stuff like that. Um, but I've never given it a crack. Um, time to start digging, Max, mate. I reckon... Um, I don't know much about board repair and electronic motors and pumps, which is why I started learning experience. If I could repair more on the boards, I would save, it would save a lot of time, a lot of money for me. 100%. Yeah, I know, but the avatar there, I repair eye devices. It's so tiny that I could barely see it. I actually, when I'm looking at that avatar, you kind of look like Jessa Jones. I'm sure you know who Jessa is. Lisa, TikTok. Awesome. That's so cool. I appreciate it big time. When I have a professional like yourself that's been in the industry for 15 years give a damn about what I do and think that it's cool and makes me um, feel accomplished because I forever feel like I'm not good at this and then for whatever reason I'm in the position I'm in and I appreciate it big time. 
but I don't like to pretend, don't like to carry myself like I know more than I do. So when I'm sitting here reading out schematics and the rest of it, I'm just very honest about it. I hope that's the way it comes across, mate. Like I'm not trying to um, make it sound a certain way. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm actually just going to pop this guy back together. Um, and then how long have we been streaming for? It doesn't tell me stream time. It literally doesn't say anything. You would think that it'd be like total stream time, two hours or so something like that, but nothing. Oh, two hours, 28, it says, 26, sorry, on, um, on OBS. Two hours and 30. Appreciate it, man. A repairman did the reflow process on a VGA ship. Now it's not turning on. Any idea why? He probably did it too hot, man. Rehot. Rehot isn't always the answer. Um, there's a joke in the repair community when people ask stupid questions about how to repair something. You simply reply saying, rehot CPU, bro because re-hotting is not the way you fix things generally. There definitely can be ways. I've got a MacBook 2012 that had graphics issues, and I re-hot the um, GPU power supply, and that solved it, but I could physically find the problem by touching the GPU power supply, and it would go away, you know? All I'm doing here, guys, is putting the um, board back together. I'm gonna keep all these spare bits off for now until otherwise I get the go-ahead or not go-ahead, and we're gonna go from there. Quote the customer will go from there. I still learn new things every day. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think I think that's the um, that's just the way it's forever going to be, isn't it? And especially in this industry. But that's a hundred percent an internal short. I'm glad. I'm happy that it's an internal short. All I need to do, like I was saying before, I don't know if I finished my train of thought. I need to get permission from the customer. Tell them, make sure that they're aware that I know what the issue is. And that there's a risk to digging into the board. And if they're happy for the risk, I can go ahead. If not, they can um, get it returned. And they're only looking at $88 for my time for two hours work or so, however long that it was, which you win some, you lose some. But I'm very confident that they'll say, yeah, go ahead. Um, because I'm not too sure where, what else they would do unless there's going to be some magician that knows how to get around it other than digging it out. And if, I mean, there definitely could be, but who knows? Can you mod my iPad so serious Donald Trump's voice? Nah. What did SG say? Absolutely right, SG. I think we all do, Lisa. We all do what, Lisa? Oh, yeah, learn something new every day. Yeah, 100%. Yeet it. Where are you located in Australia? TikTok. Um... Nathan says, I'm in North Queensland, man, the Whit Sundays. Are you familiar with it? Do you know it? This board goes together really easy. There's bugger all screws to it. The battery connector's lit. I like everything about it. Mate, mate, you look, you look Schmeet today. Do you mean schmick? Is that what you're trying to say? Jesus, go to bed. Must be 4 a.m. Ah, oh, that's 3.31. Why not yeet that away and put a new board instead? Um, I think this MacBook would probably be worth maybe like $1,400. Let's find out. I don't know what this one's worth. A2337. Well, the second hand one's for 500 bucks. Um, where are we? That's an M1, it's a 2020 model. I don't know how much they are. They're not brand new, that's for sure. Shopping, $1,400 second hand, $1,300 Australian second hand. It's basically a celebrity now, though. What's basically a celebrity now, though? Oh, what, the board? Yeah, we don't want to throw it away. Definitely not. What's digging? Usually when I start this late, I get mustaches. You get, oh, munchies, mustaches. 
What's your go-to food at this time? Um, I've got a potato salad, a Woolies potato salad in my fridge that I'll probably mang on before I go to bed. Um, but I've got a couple more repairs to do, so I might have a quick break of this if you guys want to hang around while I sort myself out. And then I might knock out another repair, but it is 3.30. Maybe I should go to bed and chat. What should I do? Should I do another one? Or should I go to bed on time so I can get into it tomorrow again? What's the better thing to do? I think, I, I believe I should end it because otherwise I'll be up till six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning and then my sleep's going to be real messed up for Monday. You know what I mean? Do another. I'm Fraser Gold Coast. Go to bed, mate. <laughs> I love it. What country? Bedtime. I appreciate you guys. I really do. Really, really do. You are absolutely awesome. Um, unreal actually to be honest what is digging well we're doing a repair over on um over on youtube but i can't finish it because there's an internal short and to fix it i need to dig into the board and to do that i'll need to get in, um, permission from the customer there's no other way around it what would you suggest, Lisa? Am I, what I'm saying is accurate, do you think? Digging into the board is the best way to do it? Breaking, I mean, before I do that, I will try and just physically break any kind of ground planes on top with that line, but I highly doubt that's gonna be the case. Take a break and come back fresh. Thanks, Lisa. I mean it though, to have someone, a veteran like you in the industry, um, even, Take some time out of your life to watch this. To me, that is, um, that's hectic. I really appreciate it. I need to go out tonight, so I need the stream to stop at some point. What are you doing out? What are you doing out at? Are you going out tonight for some reason? That's what I'm trying to say. Get it out. Guys, I'm definitely going to bed because I'm struggling to get this MacBook back together. Like just the screws and stuff like that. Holy shit. Tiredness causes mistakes. I had a mistake once where I was fixing an iPhone, fully fixing it, already had data out of it, but I had another issue and I accidentally pumped too much voltage into it. I can't remember the exact nuances of it, but I destroyed the iPhone. Had to replace it, which isn't an issue, but it was just, I was wrecked, absolutely wrecked. So you're not wrong. Oh my, and now I'm dropping screws even again. While well, I try and get this Mac back together. What's going on? Thank you for the gifted. Kel's just sent 12 roses. Thank you for the gifted. Where did that screw just go? There you are. Oh man. Did Lisa come out with a suggestion on what to do about my internal short? In your wisdom, is what I'm saying is accurate? You would just dig into the board as carefully and methodically as possible, a tiny bit at a time while checking if the short's gone or not? Is that the thing to do? Any chance to peek your yeet pile? It's only 7.36 here. In South Africa. Who hand that, my friend? Good meet you. Good donkey. How's my pronunciation? Did I nail it? Is my Afrikaans good? Yes, I agree with you, but you need to be careful with internal traces. You could damage other traces. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. It helps when we've got... Um, when we've got diagrams that are actually in depth, like my iPhone diagrams that I use on ZXW show me the eight layers or 10 layers of the board. So we can actually see what lines are where and you know where you can go, not hand, but we know where we've got a little bit of luck and other places where we don't. Oh, come on. This is being such a pain to put back together. You should go to bed, buddy. Yeah, 100%. I'm not far off. I'm ducking out after this. 
wants to put it together, I'll catch up on a few chats. Um, and then I'll probably wrap it up. Um, and then I'm going to splice in the morning. I'm going to splice up the start of this stream to be a post because that one was a consistent and proper repair. But this one is no good. Looks schmick to me. Love your videos. What's digging? Just putting together a Mac after a failed completion. Not permanently failed, but just for now. Can't finish it. Unfortunately. Why is that not going in? Well, it's not aligned correctly. Come on. Can you get aligned? Thank you. Unfortunately, we've got an internal short. And again, just to repeat myself, I need to get permission from the customer before I just go out scraping the board. Reason why is if the issue is there and then they say for whatever reason, nah, don't go ahead, send it back. If I go ham at it and then I don't get a win without their permission and then they decide to take it to someone else, that someone else probably won't know what I've done where. They'll see a dugout and then they'll say whoever had this before has butchered it. So I'd rather be honest with the customer, tell them what the risks are and go from there. Love your vids, Max. Thanks so much, hey, Mitch. Really appreciate it. So we've got that one back together. I'm going to carefully plot my big cap here, the little cap here, our um, resistor, and our filter, along with that QFN chip. And then I'm going to grab some of my ca capped on tape and tie them down because I don't want to re-solder them if I've just got to troubleshoot later. And then go from there. Tony, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Looking schmick to me. Dom. Oh, sorry. I'll catch up on the com uh, comments. Thanks for chipping in there, though, Lisa. I appreciate it big time. So in the repair industry... We rely on Chinese software, as Lisa just said, ZXW, which has um, schematics and board view software. Schematics is otherwise a wiring diagram that I was showing you guys before. So the difference, I mean, it kind of says it in it. This is a board diagram. So here, this will have all the bits. And then I don't know how these get produced, but essentially they all get their names that match up to the schematic. And then the schematic will have the individual actual, oh, hang on, let me come back over here. Where is, why can't I find, oh, here it is. So for example, this will have every single page, every single, oh, end of schematics. Jeez, it's not a very big one, this one. But yeah, and we rely on that falling off the back of a truck or the Chinese company, whoever produces ZXW to release new stuff um, for iPhones and other devices which makes it hard when people come at you with one-off devices that don't have otherwise a um, big market share because when they don't, you don't end up with... Um, if you don't have big market share, you're not going to have these guys release schematics and board view. We're not going to get parts. We're not going to have experience that turns into a bucket of shit. That's why when someone asks me, hey, man, do you fix Xiaomain XP21D and I've never even dealt with one before, it makes repair very hard unless you've got prior experience. I'm just going to go over these comments real quick, make sure I'm not ditching you guys. And on TikTok here, looking schmick to me. I appreciate it big time. Kells, did I thank you for the gifted? Go to bed, mate. Rest for concentrate. I've got list X amphetamine under my belt. I could go on it. No, I shouldn't. From your Insta, really appreciate Oh, from your Insta. SG, where are you saying that from, SG? From your Insta. Um, what size is potato salad? It's a large one. Believe it or not. Lake, late here in far north. Yeah, man. 341. It's time for bed. Take a break. I did read that one. P.S. Hire someone to help you with the pile behind you. I do have two employees, but they just more take the load off my shoulder so I can focus on this stuff. Has your orders increased since a lot since TikTok? My whole everything's changed since TikTok. TikTok is demanded my business change from a local small business to i mean a medium business in australia i think it's considered to be 25 employees or more but it's it's stepped up 
huge since TikTok um, and all this content stuff. So I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I need to go out tonight. Well, I read that one. Tightness causes um, mistakes. I read that one. Caffeine causes insomnia. Definitely. Mate, I've said it before. You're doing great work. Really appreciate it. Any chance of a pile? Of I don't have a yeet pile. Sleep in a haircut time, boy. Sorry, Lewis. You're not wrong, though. I'd rather be up all night. Keeps me up. Um, keeps me away from my lazy housemates. That's terrible. I'm sorry that you've got lazy housemates. Yes, I agree with you, but you need it. Yep, 100%. Nailed it. Good, Dunky. Your Afrikaans sounds great. Awesome. Love the work, mate. Really appreciate it. Tony keeps retracting his, um, his comment. How does someone get in this sort of work? Interest, man. So a lot of people, the common thing that I get asked is like, what's your qualifications? Where did you go to school? I finished, I graduated high school. I'm a DE student, but I graduate, and I'll always say that. I'm proud of it um, in a funny way. Proud of it because I think it'll encourage people that otherwise feel less than, like I might have as a young, younger guy. Um, when I finished school in 2009, the iPhone 4 was released the year after. And from there, all these apps and all this other crazy shit has happened. So this industry wasn't even around when I fin finished school. So the fact that it's been able to provide me um, a life, it's hectic. So in a long-winded way, how do you learn this? Well, it wasn't even around 12 years ago. So the only way to learn it is by getting involved in it. Sure, you can go become an electric engineer. You can go um, computer science and stuff like that. But you just incredible resourcefulness, perseverance, a can-do attitude, Lots of swearing when you get it wrong helps and bashing your head against a brick wall until it caves in, generally. Does that make sense? Um, ZXW software, like I was explaining, and Lisa helped out. I made a mistake. One's on the screen. I forgot to remove the what? I made a mistake once. Oh, once on a screen change. I forgot to remove the battery and after it shorted the backlight out. Dude, that's, I think every repair dude's been through that hundred times repairing backlight was my first proper board level repair on an iphone 6s plus um it was really satisfying running a jumper and the rest of it and seeing it actually work just just send them the vid which vid love your vids max i read that one but i do appreciate it mitch um add the customer to the stream <laughs> can you do a tutorial on building a gaming pc at some point if Sure, 100%, I definitely can. Um, what happened to the stripey chip, dude? Stripey chip, dude. I put him back on the Mac and tied him down with capped on tape. Um, I'll try and replace him, but we'll see. Um, thank you, dude. Tom, love it, bro. Take care. Hopefully more vids soon. I'm planning to keep consistent with this. I want to. You guys have changed. Yeah. I, I can keep repeating myself, and I'm not saying that like in, oh, it's so boring to hear. I just know that I sound like a broken record, but I appreciate you guys so much for the encouragement, putting me in this position, and I don't want to take it for granted, which is why I do need to knuckle down and put out way more content. Um, might try and buy some tools to fix the drop phone I broke two years ago. I would suggest not starting on anything that's important to you, mate. Start on stuff that doesn't matter and build up from there. It's like 3.13 here in South Australia, and you're half an hour in... And, uh, and you're half an hour in front of me. It's 3.46, so yeah, you're absolutely 100% correct. King Max, love, literally love these streams while I'm studying the most productive. Appreciate it, mate. Thanking you so much. The live stuff is amazing. Really appreciate it, Caroline. Thanks a bunch. I'm so surprised because I sit here in my head thinking this is bad content. Like I'm like, don't do this live, but your encouragement is... Very much appreciated. If you re can read a schematic and diagnose faults is all you need to start. Well, I would, I'm, I'm not correcting you here, but I don't really know how to read schematics that well. Like I read, I'll pull up a, let's pull up a page and we'll go through it real quick. So this line here, this guy here, I can tell you straight away is our Ben controller. What does that even mean? Like what? Okay. Here we go. Uh, display keyboard backlight. So Ben controller looks like a boost converter, which 
whatever. But this guy here, our UP800, very much looks like it takes in a 5V backlight A and a 5V backlight D. I don't know what D stands for. I don't know what A stands for. But it looks like it takes VDD, VDD A. So they're probably sources in. I can't tell you what SD is. I can tell you VSense and PSense is probably sensing off. Um, it could be an N MOSFET, a P channel MOSFET. I have no idea. Still can't tell you till I look at other bits. Sense out, current sensing, all this part is. EN is enable. PMW is power to keyboard backlight. So this 12 pin goes all, the 12 pin goes to the backlight. SCL and SDA is data lines. V out is keyboard backlight out. Feedback, keyboard backlight switch. Um, we've got more for keyboard backlight. But all I'm, that's actually a bad example because there's quite a bit there that I actually said that I know what it is um, just by looking at it. But I want to give you an example that I don't know how to read schematics. That can't be it. Come on, let's find end of schematics. That is the shortest schematic ever. What's going on here? I swear there was more there. Unused. That's weird. My schematic is skipping way too many pages. But let's come over here. So this guy here, for example, um, find one. I2C P3 V8. I know that's a 3.8 volt line and I2C is data. That's all I can tell you about that. Um, this isn't really helping me out because I'm looking for something confusing. Here we go. 3 V8 BST1. No idea what BST1 is. It looks like a boot, but BST1 in? Who knows? I could go like this and then find out where it comes from. But my point is, what I'm trying to say in a long-winded way, and I'm not doing a very good job of it, I can't read schematics. There's plenty of things that I read that I'm like, no idea what that is. Um, shit happens. But my point was, sorry, uh, booted tech is not correcting you and trying to say you're wrong but I don't think you need to be able to read the schematics. You can, um, you can get around it in the beginning and from there you have to learn. Um, do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter to me. Windows 10 or 11, I'm using 10. I'm not upgrading. I'll wait till everyone else goes in and see how it goes. In your preference, uh, yeah, Windows 10. Um, it's thought process. I started phone repairs on phones and given to me and I can't do board level and I just can't do board level repair. I would ask you, Tony, how many hours did you spend at it? Honestly, how's your day been? Day's been lit. Increase, interesting as flip. Appreciate it. Is there a good way, is there any good websites to buy phones? Um, your local marketplace on Facebook and eBay, 100%. I mean, I'm not going to start ripping my tech apart, um, but the approach is sound. Look for specs. Look for reactions, make it buzz. Yeah, 100%, yeet the dirt. Don't worry what others think or say about your content. The most important thing is keep being yourself. You're 100% right, can't agree more. And by the way, I'm, I, a Windows 11 is dog poop right now. Stick with 10, yeah, 100%. Hi dear, I have a phone. This is from TikTok. Hi dear, I have a phone that needs repair. No one can repair it. It's a Here we go. It's a Motorola uh, DynaTAC 8000X. I'm not going to lie, Doris, that sounds, um, it sounds like a phone I haven't heard of before. Max, do a flip. What's digging? Love your content. Really appreciate it. Can I get a, oh yeah? So guys, I'm getting our TikTok chats here. That's your one and only, hi oh, yeah. Max rolling in it. Always take a drink piss. What? Um, what software do you use for schematics? I use Flex Board View by Paul Daniels. If you just Google Flex BV, you'll see it come up. And ZXW for iPhone. So Flex Board View is what I use for Mac and ZXW for iPhone. Hi from South Africa, looking pretty schmick. Appreciate it. 
Um, Max do a flip. Speedy's just spamming me everywhere. Instagram follower from Denmark. Really appreciate it, SG. My first phone was an iPhone 4, which screen repair and back took me about two and a half, two to three hours. iPhone 4s used to take me a long time as well, dude. I, my, the first phone I ever fixed was my own iPhone 4. Um, that, I can't tell you exactly, but it took me for eight, ages. Go sleep. You know what? Lewis is right. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out. I'm going to go live tomorrow. I'm going to have something to eat when I wake up. Um, knock myself around the cheeks. Get into it. And then I'm going to go live. And we're just going to knock out repairs all day back to back. How about that? We'll do a mad stream. We'll get this. Um, we'll pump up these numbers, mate. What are we up to in subs? Not, not saying that like it absolutely matters, but there is a goal here. Mate, I think we gained like 100 subs. That's sick. That is lit. Where are we at? Dashboard, analytics. I don't know how to do this. I don't even know how to tell. It doesn't even tell me. I just think. I'm thinking that uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm going off on heaps of tangents. I'm kind of wasting everyone's time now just talking Crapola, aren't I? What time live tomorrow? Um, let me sleep in till about 10. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, five, somewhere between like um, nine thirty, ten. I'll be up. I've got to have a coffee, go for a shower, make myself look schmick. My hair's getting too long; it needs a cut. I've got to start wearing my ultraviolet glasses again. Look at that hairline, mate. Let's get it going. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll wrap it up here. I do appreciate you guys hanging along. Coming along for this uh, stream. I'm 76 and ready for retirement. Doris, you are not. You're trolling. Um, but I do appreciate you guys a lot. Thanks so much, hey, for coming along. I don't know what all this indication means in this live, but the, it's definitely, it's, it's on the decline. You guys are over it. I'm not over it, but it is time to wrap it up. YouTube sub matter. I'm at a couple of hundred, under 1,000 before I'm able to go live. When did you start making content? I didn't realize that you needed a thousand subs to go live. I just seen it there one day. All right, I'm wrapping up the YouTube stream there, but I will wait for your reply, Lisa, because I don't want to be rude. That would be incredibly rude to ask you the question and go, see you guys. On you, Caroline. That's awesome, mate. Yo, I'm back. Yasmin, why are you still up? Don't you have, um, aren't you meant to be asleep? Look, there you go. That looks way better. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Yeah, nah, yeet it away. Hello from Malta. I do know where Malta is. Where is Aussie, are you? I'm in North Queensland with Sundays. GG's everywhere. Doris, have you a son? You don't look a day over 21. Are you being serious, Doris? <laughs> I can't tell if Doris is trolling or not. Lots of TikTokers do that, just go off live without saying bye or anything. That's terrible. I struggle with going off live because I feel like there's going to be another question there that I've just ended. But I've got to do it. 2018, I was late to the game. Mate, I only started making content two years ago. And that was consistently on TikTok. And I haven't been consistent on YouTube yet, but I want to be. I want to be consistent everywhere. I appreciate you guys so much. I can't say it enough. But on that note, I am going to end it on um, the stream. If you guys like repairs, it sounds like Lisa does repairs as well. So it might be worthwhile heading over to her page, giving her some love, smashing like, doing the sub, all that kind of stuff um, by logging in, uh, logging off. Watch you later today. Love your work. Thanks. Thanks, Mega Heathy. <laughs> love these names. 
I'm a sub to lease. On you guys. I really appreciate it. I will go live tomorrow. I promise. I'll do my chores, my Sunday chores, and I'll go live tomorrow. But I am ending it there. Appreciate you guys big time. I'll see you guys soon. All right. I